to kill Chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight Chaos? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? That Chaos doesn't exist? Chaos! Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is no it chaos. true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. Fake and news. where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate Chaos come from? Chaos takes hold. Me? Chaos? Chaos. This world needs chaos! Good what morning. What can I say except you're welcome? Naz, I gotta be honest. I'm gonna remove the sound alert. Or actually, I'm just gonna figure out the logic to make sure Naz can't use sound alerts. <laughs> welcome! Welcome! Unfortunately, um, it's gonna be one of those streams. Uh, it, it's gonna be a stream where there's a plentiful amount of chaos. I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little, uh, chaotic. Is, is that the right word? Ironically enough, is that the right word? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Oh, if you missed us from the last episode here on Echo Ridge Gaming, where we played the oxygen not included, uh, we got rid of some riffraff. All right? We got rid of some riffraff. It's a whole thing. You know, every once in a while, you have to, uh, you know, just, just clean everything out. We may have laid off a couple of dupes, or one dupe. I don't know whose dupe that was. They definitely have not complained about it the entire time we've been live. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I told you. Um, the chaos is real today. Uh, after, I even forgot to put on my glasses. Uh, yeah. On a more sincere note, happy Easter. I hope your Sunday is doing fantastic. And uh, I hope it gets even better. Because uh, now we're together. I had a decent night yesterday. Decent night. Calm, relaxing. Flaming on a toilet t-shirt <laughs> appropriate. I actually don't wear this one a lot. Um, this was um, one that's not available in the stores because it is the Gildan shirt. And I ended up going with the Bella Canvas. Uh, it's a little thicker. It's a little thicker. Rockin' Raider in with the 11 months. Only one more month, Rockin' Raider, and then we can party for your Echoversary. Thank you so much for the 11 months. We also had Anglomo in with the 14 months on the Prime. Thank you, Anglomo. Welcome back. Katie Chan in with the Prime for eight months. Thank you, Katie. And then Yurichi Sama with the 17 months. Big numbers coming out of Yurichi Sama. I appreciate you. Yeah, I've had, I, I woke up this morning with a little bit of a, like a headachey thing. I don't know why. I was a good boy yesterday. Naz says, wait, Echo, why are you cleaning your glasses in that weird way? Why only one side at a time? Uh, because my little microfiber thing is small. Look how small this is. It's just too small. So it's kind of hard to do the... I don't know. I don't know. I need new glasses desperately. Rockin' Raider! You're yesing too hard. It's too early to yes. Weird Dream says, who cleans both sides at a time? Rockin' Raider just gifted 25 gifted... Thank you very much, Rockin' Raider. I really appreciate it. That's a lot of love. I really do. Yeah, so because of the headache, I decided I was gonna pour myself a big, big old glass of Gatorade. Don't worry. Do not worry, we still have the usual suspects. Uh, we have one Perrier. Yep. 
And then, of course, we have the Earl Grey. Everyone who's had glasses for more than a couple of weeks. <laughs> Darren Mason, welcome back. Gia said, on a scale of 1 to 100, how much chaos are we in for? I'm going with a solid 69. You know. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Cuddle Lynn giving the thanks to Rock and Raider. Big ups again to Rock and Raider. I appreciate you. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea. I'm thinking about starting to tap that geothermal and finding uses for all that power. Weird Dream says, Echo, do you want glasses like me or glasses like Iron Man when they melted? I got you. <laughs> no, I. when I'm looking at my phone these days, I, I normally don't wear glasses, right? I normally look tired and old. Okay, so the glasses are actually a good strategy to hide a little bit of my eyes because I'm a little self-conscious. And uh, But I'm doing this number even with when I'm wearing the glasses, like... So I know it, it's time for a prescription update. Darren Mason says, I can only drop by for a little while, but happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter to you. Jalero, welcome back. Zoltan says, they only do one side of their glasses at a time. I wouldn't be able to get enough pressure to scrub off all the gunk otherwise. Yeah, I think that's one of the parts for me too. I'm telling you, when I met Naz, um, Naz is a, a pretty impressive person. I think Punkin's been calling him the, uh, the, the glow stick dupe, which is very, very fitting because uh, they definitely exude an energy. And Ness says, yeah, with Echo, you could never know if he's trying to sneak a pic of the hot cosplayer or just trying to read his phone without glasses. It's always just me trying to read a phone without glasses. I'm not the sneaky pic type of guy. I don't know. I like people knowing that they're about to get their picture taken. I am, uh, I am a man of respect. <laughs> yeah, normally I go back for my eye exams in May, but I think I'm going to call them earlier because this isn't cutting it. The only thing I'm a little trep uh, have a little bit of trepidation for is I think it's going to be time for full time glasses, and I was not ready to do that. Yeah, I like what Rock and Raider said. Be a real man. Ask for the picture. I like it. I like it. I'm also not necessarily a person that wants a picture of a cosplayer either. I don't know what I would ever do with it. I've always relied on friends for pictures. Like, hey, can I get that picture too? <laughs> oh. First time chatter newbie slang, thanking Rock and Raider for the sub. We love to see the thanks here in the channel because we're just that kind of community. Rock and Raiders has also joined the glasses club. We missed the meetings because we need new glasses. <laughs> oh, I owe a drink. Another drink to GS. GS, thank you. Captain Morning with a pandiculate or Captain Morgan. Captain Morning. Oh, that was a good one. That one felt nice. Mm. Escape623 says, I let my glasses get dirty because I don't like when they are too clean. Oh, we need to delve into that. I think all of chat wants to know what else you mean by that. Because if there's even a small smudge, I'm like, chaos! Oh. <laughs> Pyroy says, well, Captain Morgan in the morning sounds good to me. <laughs> Uh, Guy Vexil, welcome back. Ooh, GS says, better full-time glasses than expensive custom contacts. Yay! 
and he's also still throwing some things. That one guy, 4239, says, happy to be here today. Love the vids and all the tutorials. I am working on my first ATST right now. That's with the five months on the prime. Thank you, that one guy. Kiwi says they're a clean freak. I mean, serious clean freak. I vacuum mop, clean toilets daily, but my glasses are always driving my husband cray cray as they never get clean, as they're never clean. Jalera says, hate to tell you when you get older, floaters are a permanent smudge on your glasses. I already have some. Um, if I'm looking at a clear blue sky, I can see them. Andy Starfire says, anyways, I can't be here. I'm grinding Path of Exile, but I'm going to lurk. See ya. Thank you so much for the lurk, Andy. I appreciate it. And enjoy Path of Exile. Rob Roy says, does anyone else use ethanol to clean their glasses? Guy says, floaters obviously have a different meaning in the US. I'm assuming they do. Now I gotta look it up to see if I can talk about it on the stream. Uh, UK floaters meaning. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a political term for saying that a person of no one particular political opinion or a person who votes illegally in more than one district at an election. Yeah, floaters, they're little spots in your vision to where you can actually see them depending on the lighting and everything. Guy says it's also when the loo doesn't flush. <laughs> Uh, Coachman says, what are floaters? I also have one in my left eye, but is it a bad thing? I'm not a doctor and I'm not, I don't ever presume to give out medical advice. Um, so I would definitely, if you have started seeing them, definitely go get um, a checkup just to make sure. But um, I know they, they also, for a lot of people, start happening when you get older. because I'm sure, I'm positive, they can probably also be an indication of something else. <laughs> Everybody's talking about floaters in chat. <laughs> this is a new one. This is a new, this is definitely a new one. <laughs> yes! Oh. I love this community. First time chatter Ushe says they're extremely common. Alaric says often it's dead cells floating in your eye. It gets bad enough doctors have treatments for it. If it's a dead retina, it's a whole different problem. Solvar, welcome back, says, if it impairs your vision, yes, otherwise not really. Seeing through wormy, dealy things in your sight is reasonably common, as Uche said. For those of you who didn't know, our friend Solvar is Stream Elements, the bot. <laughs> Guy says, talking to floaters, hot tub stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> GS, so much chaos, we were up to our eyeballs in it. Oh boy. <laughs> We have a good stream coming today. We're going to be playing some auction not included, of course. 
We are going to be doing, I don't know when the colony, 100%. I think we're going to be working on geothermal power, like I said. But, you know. Weird dreams, so Echo, did you see the Easter Bunny today? I did not, but Little Chick did. First time chatter. Oh, I got to get in close to this one. Evolet Lauren? Evolet Lauren. Where did Echo get his oxygen poster? Um, if you're talking about whoop, that one, I also have that one. They sell them on the clay store. Ooh, shine bug reactor. Touche, guy. Touche. Yeah, we need to work on that shine bug reactor as well. That's a good idea. The question is, what are we going to do with all that power? I'm not 100% sure. When's the last time I've experimented with a nuclear sauna or reactor in the the Max Achievement Run, the last YouTube series? Let's see if the tea is cool enough yet or if it's going to burn my mouth. Turn fossil into sedimentary rock. That's probably, says Rock and Raider, that's probably a good, another good reason for the shine bug reactor because then we can start generating a lot of radiation. And then we can get the loop of taking that radiation, turning it into diamond, turn the diamond into fossil. That fossil will then give us more lime and more sedimentary rock to feed to the hatches, which will give us more. Uh, coal to put back in to make more diamond it's a good loop it's just a very late game loop so like jeb says how do you turn fossil into sedimentary rock the new point of interest building um once you do all the fossils and you exam examining examine them or analyze them there's then a system where you can turn diamond into fossil and then you can crush the fossil using the uh, rock crusher you get 95 kilos worth of sedimentary rock, I believe, and five kilos worth of fossil for every... Oh, no, and five kilos worth of lime for every 100 kilos of sediment. Uh, oh, let me start over. I'm sorry, chat. Um, welcome back to Echo Ridge. You take the coal. You put the coal inside of the diamond crusher thing. You add radiation. From the radiation, you get diamond out of the, the thing. You then can take the diamond to that point of interest building. Once you put diamond into it, it's gonna give you some fossil. Fossil, you can then crush at the rock crusher to get 95 kilos worth of sedimentary rock, five kilos worth of lime. Whew. It, it is a bigger loop. Slicky Jibs is excavating the POI fossils. Oh, I didn't know you get sedimentary rock from crushing fossil yet. I don't know. The numbers on it were probably going to be really weird, though, because it takes so much diamond to do it. So I don't know. It's probably not a one-to-one, -one, right? For as much coal as we're getting that we're slamming into the... We're going to do that math, that you're slamming into the diamond crusher thing. And then you take all that just to get 100 kilos worth of fossil. It's a tough sell. Guy says, annoyingly, I'm at work today. I work in patient transport, taking patients home from hospital. However, I'm hoping there aren't many people needing to go home today so I can watch most of the stream, says Guy. <laughs> well, I appreciate the type of work you do. Colonel Sanders says it's a long, slow, positive con.
whimsical mango first time chatter welcome Weird Dream says, did you know the Boy Scouts used to have a nuclear badge? In order to get the badge, you had to go somewhere with a radiation and capture the level of radiation with a Geiger counter. Isn't it nice none of us got that badge? I wonder, first of all, where's the average Boy Scout troop going to get a Geiger counter? Is this a Kappa thing? Is this a meme? Like, they don't just sell Geiger counters down at Radio Shack. If you can even find a Geiger counter. But I suspect a lot of the microwaves we use have a very, very slight radiation leak. I wouldn't be surprised. That's why, like, whenever the radi uh, the microwave, I always tell my kids, when a micro white microwave is going, don't stand there and look at it. Right? Don't stand right up to the glass and look into the microwave. Just, Just go back. Kiwi said, my generation played with mercury in your hands while the dental nurse did her job. <laughs> Slicky Jeb says, wouldn't it be easier to just to mine rock fields? I think that's how it's called, in space to get a cemetery rock. Yes, absolutely, 100,000%. Um, but remember, that's going to take diamond too. Because the you have to use diamond for the, dry, the diamond thing. But the conversion for the diamond drill, but the conversion's probably be a lot better because you're gonna be getting seven or eight tons worth of sedimentary rock. It's just a bonus, um, it's just a bonus resource for also being able to get lime from the fossil. It's always the red names. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's red that I, I cannot read as well. To infinity, first time chatter. Says, how's your day echo? It's going great. Guy thinks you might be able to make a Geiger counter. I'd be interested to learn how. Kieran Ash, welcome back. Weird Dream says, oh, they actually sold them to kids in the 1950s. However, they were wildly expensive. Oh, and it came with a sealed plutonium or something. Weird Dreams, how do you know all this? Do you just have a, a, a uh, an interest in nuclear science? Alric says there's a trick with an AM band radio to listen for radiation. Alric dropping the big knowledge. Apparently, Alric and Weird Dreams hang out at the same the same parties. Rob Roy says, Amazon people, they sell Geiger counters. <laughs> oh. Dark Vorbug. Happy Easter back. Alric says, you can hear lightning build up with AM radio as well. So in my military career, I was in communications and... Well, I did a lot of IT. I also did a lot of radio communications and satellite communications and things like that. And the things that you can hear with HF are almost like time travel -y. We've heard um, using HF signals that went up into insert stratosphere or whatever and just got stuck up there. And eventually they come down. Um, We've heard single signals as far back as like Vietnam, which is crazy. Weird Dream says, so I have ADHD and we were watching Dangerous Toys and I went down a rabbit hole. I too get into rabbit holes. Now we learn Echo is a time traveler, says Nas. I'm serious. It's it's very, um, a lot of times it's just mundane. It's not like, you know, all the danger trap, the, the, like when things are bad, it could just be normal administrative traffic. 
but you can always tell. Skypian? I'm going to go with Skypian, 63, first time chatter. Says, hello, everyone. Happy Easter. Glad to have, to have discovered your channel. You got me back into Oxford not included. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. <laughs> Welcome. Appreciate you coming by. Yeah, because a lot of the long haul communications that we used to use back then were HF. We don't use HF as much anymore, um, especially some of the other services. The Marine Corps will tend to because normally we get dropped off to some place that has no civilization and no infrastructure yet. But nowadays, satellite phones are pretty good. Dark Vorbog in with the tier one sub gift to MV Hank. Thank you, Dark. I appreciate you. That's 155 total gift subs from Dark. Guy says, yep, jinxed myself. See you all soon. Be safe, guy. Be safe. <laughs> oh. Rob Roy says, have you looked at uranium glass? What, what is special about uranium glass? Mind Fury says that Elon's trying to do Starlink direct to smartphone. So when I say satellite communications, I don't necessarily mean like sat phones like So I have two dogs. Everybody's met Jima and Bella, right? Are you going to try to come say hi today, Jima? Come here. Come here. You going to come up here? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so that's the boy dog. That's the boy dog, right? He has anxiety. Now, when I say he has anxiety, I know a lot of people are like, well, a lot of dogs have anxiety. No, this dog's just messed up somewhere. Like, I think he got it from me or something. I don't know. But for instance, hold on. Right now, he's chewing on the girl dog's ear. And you might think like, oh, it's cute. Like he's showing her some love, right? Oh, he's definitely not teething because he's five years old or something. But he, he'll lick the ear a little bit, but then he'll just put the whole ear into his mouth and like it's a chew toy. And the vets have given us different reasons, but it's not such a big deal other than the fact that after it's done, um, her name is Bella and her ears are literally dripping. And it gets worse because then she'll get like giant sores on her ear and then they're bleeding. She'll shake. Blood goes everywhere. It's like, I, we don't know. Let's see who remembers this. I don't know when the last time I said it. I like seeing what people remember in chat. Why are my dogs named Jima and Bella? Nas says, okay, that's too much ear nibbling. Yes. Queen says, I know. <laughs> K 
Colonel Sanders says, my comment about them being majestic seems significantly hampered by this story. It's just him. She is a completely normal-ish dog. He is just, he doesn't act very Rhodesian. Um, like, uh, Rhodesian Ridgebacks are very, they're very timid. They get, uh, not timid, that's not the right word. They get startled easier, right? Well, he is just completely aloof. Nothing matters. He just runs around with everything, whereas Bella gets scared of her own food bowl. Acanthio says, I mean, you are a Marine. To others who are Marines, it's pretty obvious. Yep. Mad Cow says, I use lavender essential oil on my cat. Is that safe to consume? Or do you think maybe um, he just won't want to get near it? That's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to give that a try. Lavender essential oil. Lavender, lavender, lavender. Thank you, my cow. Um, so, Jima is named for the island. Well, they're named for the battle. Um, the Battle of Iwo Jima. Bella is named for the Battle of Bella Woods. Bella Woods was a battle in World War One, And... Uh, Jima, or the Battle of Iwo Jima was World War II. Es um, Escape says, if you tried CBD, yeah, no effect. No effect. I could give him a bottle of CBD, and it wouldn't even, it's like, whatever, bing! Kiwi says, isn't Bella Woods the chicken Twilight? <laughs> Weird Dream says lavender is toxic to dogs. Maybe not the oil, maybe just the flower. I don't know. I'll have to I have to look it up. No chew bitter apple spray. I have not tried that. We even bought Bella a little bonnet. <laughs> it's so adorable. But it punishes her for what he's doing. But she wears this little bonnet and it wraps the ears. So he can't get to him. He only he doesn't do it all the time. You can tell it's just when he's feeling a certain way. Um, like anxious or he's feeling something. It's the reason why he does it. Zolden says, I'm seeing conflicting information about lavender oil and scent and its effect on dogs. Good stuff. How about a thunder vest? That's not a bad idea. If it is anxiety doing it, a thunder vest might work. Kaluna Bite says, try the apple bitter spray. Tastes horrible, but won't bother Bella. Okay. So you brought him in front of the camera and he got anxious? No, he was doing it before. So when I muted, that's what I was telling him. I was telling him to stop. Um, yeah. But then as soon as, as soon as he came on camera, he got all excited and then started going to do it again. Kaluna Bites says, I take dogs rescued in from puppy mills. Most anxiety riddled dogs you'll ever see. So I have a small story to that. Jima, we got from a breeder, not necessarily even a breeder. It's just a, um, a couple that loves Rhodesian Ridgebacks. And so they just continue whenever they're ready to have puppies. Um, they'll always, they'll sell the other puppies, but they'll keep two. Right, and they keep, that's how they're always gonna have Rhodesians. And these dogs, 
Um, they didn't have a very large house, but they had a fenced in backyard that had dirt everywhere and everything like that. And the dog, and they had their like their basement, their their most their bottom most level to the ground open, and they had couches and a playroom and stuff like that. And all of these dogs, it's the reason why Jim is like that is because he came from a very good home. Um, they got to play all the time and interact and all that sort of stuff. Bella, I didn't know it obviously beforehand, but the breeder I went to get her from was an actual Rhodesian breeder. And from what we can gather, it was one of those places that they just dump off a bunch of food or whatever, and the puppies have to go get it. And so if you're the last puppy there, you're not gonna, you are not gonna get any food. So for the first like six months that we had Bella, we actually had to buy one of those, those bowls that looks like a little um, mouse maze to slow her down from eating because she was so, so nervous that someone was going to come take her food. It was, it was a, yeah. That breeder, you can tell, did not breed their dogs for love. They, they just bred them for money and it, it makes me mad and sad. Slicky Jeb says, well, I'm going to finish making my formula sheet for tomorrow's exam. Be back. Good luck on the exam, Slicky Jeb. Knock it out of the park. Mango A says, first time here. I thought you were, I thought you are old man like grandpa old. Am I not grandpa old? I mean, technically I could be a grandpa. Oh, oh. let's not say that again. <laughs> Alric said it. They had a German Shepherd that would eat so fast they would burp. <laughs> oh, I'd never heard a dog burp. Colonel Sanders said breeders are such a mixed bag, I tell you, yeah. Just like people, right? Reborn in Ash with the follow. I appreciate you. Suarez Zeigen says your grandpa old echo. Great grandpa. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. After I get off the stream, I'm going to go cry in the mirror. Maybe I'll go get some Botox. <laughs> some Just for Grey. Alric says, I'm 45 and have two grandkids. I feel your pain. Well, I feel your joy. I'm very happy for you. That came out wrong. Let me dig myself out of this hole. <laughs> um, I've, I'm glad you have some grandkids, Alric. I don't know what else to say. I am close and uh, I feel too young for it. Bushman Glenn says, popping in to say happy Easter before we sit down for lunch. Happy Easter to you, Glenn, and I hope uh, you and yours have a great, great lunch. Golden Grayson's Hawaii. Did I miss a roll call? No, you did not, Golden Grayson's Hawaii. Mm. I do need to get that set up, though, here in a minute. I just wanted to sit down and chat for a few minutes, allowing this headache to go uh, to minimize a little bit, you know. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Skyman82 says, Yay, live chaos. Hello. Hello back. Barnesy, Barnes, Emma, 1146. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I don't know what the queen has set up today, but it's probably something like brownies and lemonade. Call me Barnsey. Will do. Alric says the three-year-old is bilingual. I have to learn Japanese because she has me convinced Onara-san was grandpa for a while. What, it, what does actually Onara-san mean? I think Japanese is a beautiful language. 
Oh, Narasan is Mr. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Zoldan says, we've been talking about glasses and their cleaning methods, dogs and Echo being a grandpa. I also, I want to learn Spanish. I, I'm a hit and miss with my Duolingo. Sometimes I'll get into months where I'm Duolingoing every day and, and doing great practice, and then I'll just fall off of it and it's hard to get it back into my routine. Um, but I really want to learn Spanish. We have a lot of, um, how do you put it? Native speaking um, Hispanics in my area. And it would just be nice to be able to say, you know, hello and carry on a conversation. Rob Roy says, learning languages is hard for older people. You're not kidding. You are not kidding. Actually, it's something with my brain, too, because I have a, um, this is not a gloat, but only defining the amount of education. I have a master's degree. And so through my undergrad, and I dual majored in my undergrad and had a very difficult, uh, I had a difficult major for it, one of them. And then my master's was, is considered like the number two or number three program in the nation for what I did. Well, <laughs> I earned two C's in my entire collegiate career. Two. Yay! You ready for this? One was a highly, highly advanced bonds class, like a financial bonds, um, like treasury vehicles and stuff like that. I earned, I actually earned a B but the professor gave me a C. And so when I emailed them and said, hey, there's an issue with this. It actually comes out to be like an 82. It should be a B. And he goes, I'm so sorry. Let me go ahead and fix that. Well, he never fixed it. So that's one of my C's. So I really only earned one C. That C was in Spanish 141. So I think it's something with my brain that doesn't like to learn languages. Pixel! Pixel in with the 14 months. Okay, I'm gonna try to say this. Nick's trying to throw me for in a loop. Oi, oi, Savaloy. Thanks for all the good vibes. What is Savaloy? Domesticated Neanderthal. Aren't we all? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chaos. Oh, see, and this is this, it's stories like this that Pixel says, I feel you on that. I did five years of French and three years of German and can't remember a thing. Let me see how much French and German I can name off the top of my head. All right, for German, Danke schön. Uh, does Wiener Schnitzel count? I think Wiener Schnitzel counts. Uh, Dank. Oh, Shane. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Welcome back. Happy Easter. French, I know a little bit more. Some of it's not extremely appropriate, um, but it's a song, so I'll just say it. Voulez-vous avec moi? <laughs> Mrs. Music Lady says my lowest grade in college was a B minus in Cal 3. The teacher refused to raise my grade even though I showed them I completed all the parts of the group project. Ugh. Cal 3 is the reason why I ended up going to business information systems and finance and not computer science.
I even thought about going back to school. I had a, uh, a tough time probably about a year ago, maybe closer to six months ago. And I just got to this point where I'm like, I have to, I have to do something. Like I get in these, I like, I just need to scream and just, you know, you know how it gets. And I thought about going um, to law school, but then I, uh, But then I, every day when I come out of my bedroom, um, the degrees are sitting there on the wall. And I'm like, I'm not even using those degrees right now. Why would I go back to school again? Plus, I really, really don't like the educational system. It always infuriates me. Weird Dream says I made straight A's in Spanish. I took eight years, went all the way up to the 500 courses. And can I speak Spanish? Not to any fluent speakers. Oh, that hurts. Pedro B21, first time chatter, welcome. Astrophen with the follow, welcome in. Welcome to the chaos. The queen says, I use my degree every day, interpersonal communications. And you do it well, queen. Thank you very much. Next says, spider says, each, each spricken ein, oh, I'm gonna try to read it. Or maybe it's I. Ein spricken ein beisken, do it. Do you speak German? I guess is what that says. Some guy that plays said, "Yeah, the lane, the way to learn a language properly is you have to travel." Oh, I'm going to. I'm gonna travel so damn much. I want to go to. Um, I've I've been to dozens and dozens of countries, all over the world. I want to go to England. I want to go to Ireland. I want to go to Norway. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to... Those are probably my big four. Kiwi said New, New Zealand. I was going to say mainland um, Australia. I don't think I've ever contemplated New Zealand versus, but yes. Dara Mason says, when my break is over, catch you all in Vaudland. How? Hope your Easter is wonderful. You too. Try Portugal. I've been, I've been really close to Portugal. I was in, um, only for a couple days, but I've been, where have I been in that area? I've been in Malaga. I've been in Rota. I've been several cities on the Southern Peninsula of Spain. Why Norway? Uh, the pictures, have you ever looked at the pictures of Norway? I just, it's mind boggling just to look at them. I also love the, the, the history that comes out of there. I absolutely love that sort of history. I'm, I'm fascinated with it. Oh, Jalera says, what I learned in computer science in the 80s is so ridiculously obsolete. I can't imagine my degrees matter for anything if I was still in the workplace. So what's funny is that's what I decided when I switched out of computer science track because I was like, I'm not taking any more of the calculus. I'm not doing it. It's way too much work. Uh, math has always had always come easy to me. Um, Math has always, always come easy to me. When you start hitting calculus levels, um, some of the higher calculus levels, 
it was the first time I ever actually had to study math. I never had to study. I never studied much, but you'd have to sit down and study math. And I didn't want to spend. And for my school, uh, computer science, they went all the way up from Cal three, uh, derivative mathematics. You know, it, it, there was like five or six levels of math. And I'm like, I know I don't need this. So I, I just I was like, nope. Nicholson9691 with a follow. Welcome in. I appreciate you stopping by. So that's when I made the switch. But then I was like, you know what? I'm still going to learn. And I, at one time, had 10 apps on the Apple App Store. I have several working prototypes for games that I wanted to develop. I can competently program in, in five, six, seven languages. Colonel Sanders says, yeah, unless you're a mathematics professor or something, the math doesn't come up. I agree. And I know it's sort of the, the system and the way of thinking that they want you to have, but there should be a different math track for computer science majors. The idea that Someone who's going to spend their living writing code needing Cal 3 is just, it's an, it's an obsolete idea. It's just a holdover from the type of people and the, the educational system that said, well, okay, we're going to have a computer science. We're probably going to pluck the people from here. All right? It's just, it's silly. So I have no problem learning computer languages, only human languages. Yeah, it's weird. I love to program, absolutely love it. One of my favorite little hobbies is um, different pathfinding algorithms, like making mazes and stuff like that. Pumpkin says, okay, wonderful echo and wonderful echo chat. I have to continue Easter shenanigans, but can hopefully catch the end of the stream. Happy Easter. We appreciate the lurk. Pixel says, I got a great idea for an app. I'll tell you, and if you make it, I'll split it with you 70-30. <laughs> Oh, for those of you who didn't know, that's the uh, that's the App Store split. I think I think that my problem with it, Nexus, uh, Nexus says human languages have too many rules and sometimes they contradict each other. I think what it is for me when I'm looking at a programming language, there is a there is a defined rule set. And so I know what what to do to make a loop in this language. I know, so basic, it's just learning different syntax for doing the exact same thing. Because once you have that sort of programmer brain, you can just do it. So it's just learning the different syntax in that language. Whereas I think my biggest problem with learning languages, um, spoken languages, is that there's no, there's no syntax clues, right? Like, why does the word bicycle mean the word bicycle? It just doesn't, it doesn't equate in my brain. Something doesn't click. Yeah, Anglomo, I think, is on. It says human languages are messy, while computer languages are not. I think that's sort of it. I don't know. It always... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, chat. All right, we are about ready for the roll call. Anglomo's a linguist and has years as a programmer. Toph. Says, I'm so happy. Yesterday, I got my Norwegian citizenship. I am French and have lived in Norway for eight years. Toph, 
Congratulations. Let's see some echo parties in the chat for Toff. That is absolutely amazing. Congratulations on your achievement. I'm very, very happy for you. What an amazing accomplishment. For those of you new to the channel, we like to um, show our appreciation as a community for you spending your most valuable resource, and that is your time. As a way of doing that, we like to do something called a roll call. And all you have to do to be included in the roll call is uh, say something in chat right now. That's it. When you say something in the chat in the past Face say five minutes, your name will appear on my list, and then I'll know to be able to say hello to you. Mossy Piglet, first time chatter, says, human languages are built like a tree. Programming languages are built like a bridge. That's very astute, I like that. First time chatter, by the way, out for Mossy Piglet. If you don't know what to say, just put an emote. We have free follower emotes too, by the way, so don't forget to hit the follow button. We ready? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to work this one. Perfect time for ads to kick in. If it is, we'll wait for the ads. There are only one minute ads on my channel. Yeah, we'll wait. I'm seeing a bunch of new first time chatters. Welcome. We're gonna wait for Nexus Spider. And I think we're back from our ad break so we can finally get to our wonderful roll call. Ladies, gentlemen, and nerds of all types, welcome. Today is March 31st, 2024. For many of you, it is Easter Sunday. And this fine, fine morning, afternoon, and evening, we are saying hello to 20MG5, Abiton, Acanthios, Anglomo, Alpine Kitty, Antez, Bunder, and Hexes, Bunder Presser, Celestian, Kaluna Bite, Cedar Sea, Codes Man 9000, Dark Vorbug, Doff 87, Domesticated Neanderthal, Dragoon Remy 2, Dwarf Gecko, Erija Gaming, Escape 623, Forever Lost in Oz, Golden Creations Hawaii, Heim Dallo 9, Heinola SV, Jal Fedor, Jamie and 9, Just Dog 1980, Colonel Sanders, Kiweed, Leofar OG, Lokar 37, Luscious, Lucian, Master MSC, Melflower, Mini Soul Reaper, Minu Zeta, Mossy Piglet, Mrs. Music Lady 1219, MV Hank, Nazgul, Nexus Spider, Nightmare, Nolan, Nim 4409, Orbit 8, Otaku 74, Oxidor, Pyroy Maniac, Queen, Calero, Bows and Curtis, Rakeen, Rob Roy 865, Rockin' Raider, Rocco Man 43, Rykar, Swartz's Zyken, Slight Speed, Skyman 82, Slicky Jail, Stream Elements. I know Stream Elements, the bot just made it. Hello, Sulfur. Some guy that plays Sunder 77, Taco Void, Journey South Earth. Oh, I'm butchering that. Hello, Jorny. Toff, 59. Congratulations again, Toff. Tyron Ops, Whimsical Mango, Wikipedia's Weird Dreams, Hi Liz, Zimmy, 99, and Zoldan Orlamu. Woo! Flynn Winch says, but magma liquid locks are actually perfect locks. They even block solids. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Flynn. All right, let's get to this. We've been chit-chatting for a little while, huh? How long did we chit-chat for today? What time is it? Oh, wow, we chit-chatted for an hour. Dex, I appreciate the lurk. Thank you for allowing us the time to chit-chat. 
Weird Dreams is still wrapped up in a burrito blankie. Sounds so comfy cozy. Super jelly. Jorney says, great to finally catch you live. Got my own Ani Gaming. First time chatter for Jorney. Mel Flower was a first time chatter as well. Soon we're gonna have a four hour stream with 20 minutes of game. <laughs> All right, well, we are in misprints. Let's double check the uh, audio. I think we're good there. Let's uh, let's clip it down just a smidge. Misprints. Slicky Jeb says, "Echo, you look thirsty. Here, have a drink." I mean, what are you talking about there, Slicky Jeb? Oopy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Cheers to you. I appreciate you. Mr. Jibo in with a pandiculate. Oh. Thank you. Skyman says, Lurk, time to enjoy in full screen from bed. Very nice, Skyman. I appreciate that. So here's that loop we were talking about a little earlier. One kilo worth of diamond equals 100 kilos worth of fossil. That's a little bit better than I thought. Zoom, zoomy zooms. Tiny screen, big echo. It's the new reel. Plain socks today? Yeah, we're rocking the plain socks. Did you get to see them? I didn't do my shock, sock show off because we Azar's not here. Mm. Nexus Spider in with the tier one sub. Thank you, Nexus Spider. I appreciate you. Reminder for the hand pedestal in my room. Thank you, Jerifo. Let's do that right now. Yeah, this conversion's not too bad. I like that. Lovely Miss Amanda in with the nine months. Good to see you, lovely Miss Amanda. Uh, we're gonna do that. Let's go find Jarifa's room. Newbie, Kiri, Bronima, Haunted, Chippy. Jari, right here. Material blueprint, pop. There we go. Dancing Ninjas, first time chatter. Welcome to the chaos. We're just sitting down now to see what kind of chaos we can get into. Oh, there's some omelets that we can print out on the other planetoid. One of these days, we're gonna do some work over here. One of these days, let's do a quick check. Still plenty of air. Which, I'll be honest, is surprising. <laughs> I thought we were going to run out of air a long time ago. Oh, we're out of water, though? Let's enable this. That means they haven't been washing their hands. Wash your hands! And I can probably do this. Then they'll still be able to get down there and grab... The hexalent. Actually, if I do this, they'll. S oh, and I think they can make that without any assistance. But I can also put a pitcher pump right here. ESS wallpaper is collecting blueprints. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is anybody out right now? Yeah, no, none of them are out. I can't wait for the next episode to come out on the YouTube channel from the farm series. I'm going to try to get one out, um, one out this week. This week, I have to work on the Chaos Crew colony. Uh, or not the colony itself, but the video. And those typically um, take me a little bit of extra time. They're not easy. They're not easy videos to produce. Alright, they can do a little bit of work around there, and we'll go back to our main one. 
All right. Oh, we, we forgot a um, a plant for Lokar's room. Let's go with a Bliss Burst. Everything else seems to be on the up. Our Magma Lock is still good, although it will eventually dissipate disappear too. So we need to get in here and get rid of this hydrogen gas before it loses its temp and then turns into igneous rock. Yeah, the magma lock, that was good fun. We had a lot of fun with that. Yes. Oh, so the magma lock happened? Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> I am not loving how much duplicate labor. I mean, 41 duplicates, and we seem to be just chilling. I'll bet you we're not grounded. Grounded there. Not grounded here. Grounded there. What about Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Grounded there, okay. That should help keep some of them out of there. Iger says, hey there. Just noticed you were streaming. It was deep in Subnautica hardcore play. You only get one life. No worries, Igers. Welcome. Quaffed Quoka especially had fun with magma locks. Let's ask him. Oh, wait. We can't because they're dead. Look, I never told them to sit around and wait. Okay? But there they are. It was a whole thing. We need to give them a plant at least. Oh, I told you, we're going to be squirrely. Well, also, when we uh, find another dupe, we're going to be bringing Quaffed Quoka back. That's just what we do on the channel, because I don't want people to pay their money for a dupe, and then be because of my um, ineptitude, they lose the dupe. Where's the compost pile? Let's do let's do them up like all dead Zolden dupes. At least you're not bitter, buddy. <laughs> oh man. I don't feel like dealing with that bleach stone. All right. Shine bolt reactor. Let's look at this for a minute. We know we're going to want the radiation up here. Or do we even care? The only reason we say that is because when you're using rad bolts, it's kind of it's nice to have the extra 125. But is that necessarily important with a rad bolt with a, a shine bug reactor? Who cares about the 125? So we don't necessarily need to put it up here. We can put it like right here. Yeah. So first thing we need is the the breeder. We'll need the breeders. And just because these levels are that big doesn't mean I want to keep them that big sort of thing. Let's go. Let's get stupid with it too. It's 23 degrees here. You ready to get stupid, chat? Who wants to get stupid? Pick me! Let's run eight shine bugs in the react in the breeders. Uh, I'm gonna have to go one extra because I'm gonna lock them in. Kaluna bites says I'm already stupid. I don't need your help. Oh. <laughs> uh. So you have a dupe die, and I think it shows up in the furniture tab? I'm not sure what you mean there. How do you get the gravestone? Oh, um, it's under medicine. I think you start with it. The tasteful memorial. I missed the earlier part of that conversation.
Does it need to be obsidian? No. You can use basic a lot of the minerals. All right, so that is there. We'll also do this just in case. We'll need to do the water trick. Since they are flying bugs. Now let's see, we need... Do, 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 do. I hope my brain's not too squirrely today. Oh, we also need to go look for Liz's gassy moo. Liz, how long are you gonna be with us today? Let's go um, grooming station. Critter drop off. We are also going to use the critter feeder. You don't need to put a storage thing in here. Well, tell you the truth. It's not even worth using a conveyor loader or a conveyor system to get the phosphorite up here. Because once they fill the storage bin with phosphorite, it lasts for so ridiculously long anyways. Mm -hmm. Imagine placing graves on the tile where dupes die. That's not a bad idea. Depending on where it was. We didn't want to do that though. I don't know what happened here. What happened? Who's dropping water? Ooh, uh, gas pressure in here. We're, we're at 350. We need to eat more. Let's go. Two cycles out of five. Beautiful. How much? I'm assuming it's just a ridiculous amount. What are we doing with all of our phosphorite? Oh yeah, like there's seven tons there, six tons here. I know we're making fertilizer out of it. Yeah, we have 216 tons worth of phosphorite. But where does it come from, asked Flynn? It's coming from our petroleum generators who are that are emitting polluted water and our natural gas generators. Hits this metal tile, flashes, and we get the dirt for it, but it also makes steam, which keeps amping up the pressure. So we have door crushers here to destroy it, to try to bring that pressure down. Because right now, uh, these volcanoes will not erupt. There is a lack of pee in this colony, says Kevin. What's up, Kevin? Um, Zoldan, no, we can't name Liz's Gassy Moo Kebby because she has a specific name that she wants. It's something like um, the mu Mugician. I can't remember. When she comes back, she'll be able to tell us. It's like uh, the Magic Mugician or something. Uh, where is the Gassy Moo planet? Not there. There it is. We'll have to drop a rover there. What can we get rid of to get the rover? We'll replace this one. Rover's module. Build. Nim said, still getting socky feet at the bottom of the base entrance. Oh my goodness, where's it coming from? Is it ice? Or is it dropping from here like it's hot? It's probably dropping from here like it's hot. Jesus Gouda. Thank you for the fall. Welcome to the chaos. Dancing ninjas in with a tier one. Welcome. Thank you, Nim. I'm refunding you for that alert because that was a good tip. Appreciate you. Flynn says Magnus Mike 
Mugician? It's something like that. It might be Magnus. Weird Dream says Magnus the Muf the Munificent. There it is. That's what we have to name Liz's um, sea manatee. Alrighty. Whoop. We can sweep all this up. We can say phosphorite. We'll throw it down on a four. Now we're going to need a little bit of shipping here. Just a little bit. Just for a second. Just to see how it feels. I'm sorry. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> There's Colonel Sanders. Hey. All right. Um. Yeah, let's go. Just a, a smidge of water, please. Just a little bit. Thank you. Blue, 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 blue. Shine buggies and shine buggy nymphs. We're going to hold eight of them in here. We're loading up the phosphorite now. All right. Nope, that's too much. But you can stop. Stop now, please. Thank you. <laughs> I should have been paying attention. I was not. Magnus the Munificent. <laughs> Makes me smile. Gives me the happy feels. Anti-social Leon, welcome back. Good to see you. You could add the phosphorite to the shipping already going to the top of the base, says Guy. Mm. I mean, we could filter it out. But I'd also have to filter here. Unless I threw another conveyor loader in here. All the phosphorite drops in here, then this auto sweeper throws the phosphorite in here. Did you catch that? Shipping. Do something like this. This shouldn't be too bad of a run. I think, yeah, I think Guy is right. This is not a bad run. And we are starting to hurt on duplicate labor, so I think this makes sense. Not out of steel, please. You giant nincompoop. Does anybody know the etymology behind the statement nincompoop? And am I using etymology correctly. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. That's a quick and easy run. Bloop. Then we could ship it to the fertilizer setup as well. Where is our fertilizer setup? Over here. We just have that allowing... So we would need the filter sooner. Oh, no, because the only thing this is going to have on it is phosphorite. All right, all right. This is sexy. This is getting sexier. Who's your daddy? Boom. Right? Yes. I like it. Zoldan says Nind made from <laughs> calm, smelly poop. <laughs> Great job. Great job. In the 17th century, Colonel Sanders says, perhaps from the given name of Nicholas from Nicodemus, by association, the Pharisees of this name and his native. What are you talking about? Simpleton. Nicodemus. 
Cable management starting to get a heavier. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> One hypothesis includes connections to the Latin phrase non compos, mentis meaning not of sound mind. Alternatively, nincompoop could simply be an elaborate based on ninny, which comes from innocent. Nincompoop was forced to record in England in 1670. You see that pixel? More stuff from the land of Nick. There's not, there's not spaghetti. This is actually decently clean. Okay? I don't want it to, I don't want that to, uh, I want to do a 50-50 split, though. Conveyor bridge. Which way is this going? It's going up. So let's do this. And then I'll be able to do a 50-50 split here. It's going to go up, but we means we need to filter it somehow right here. All right. See how we got sidetracked thanks to Guy? We're blaming Guy. Blaming Guy. Uh, what else is on this line? Oh, no. Nothing has to be filtered. Because the only thing coming out of this conveyor loader is phosphorite. If it's spaghetti, then magma is bolognese. <laughs> Colonel Sanders says, sorry, Echo. I just copied what Google... I, hey, I feel you, Colonel Sanders. I appreciate it. <laughs> Nick says we have made up a lot of. Sh uh -huh. <laughs> oh. All right. Um. All right. Right here, we need to be picking up phosphorite now too. Phos. There we go. And then this one will also say phosphorite once they get in there and, you know, build it. Any day, dupes. Like, this is what's confusing me. I understand we don't have all the dupe labor in the world, but there's 41 dupes on this colony. Yeah, we're, as we're doing this, let's look for opportunities to better duplicate labor. Make it more efficient because we're, we've done something wrong. I get it. We're making like, I mean, look how sexy this is. 21 tons of super coolant. Okay. 21 tons of super coolant. Mm. Absolutely. And we still have 11 tons of fullerene. Are you manually collecting eggs from the stables? Not in this series, but we are in the, uh, farm series they're getting to it's just like i'm on times three speed right now we're just sitting here it doesn't make what is going on here again where's all that o2 coming from are they still get, oh wow there's 10 tons of oxygen here all right now i gotta put automation on this too these are now emergency containers we'll put it right here in the middle of the base and we're going to say, if the atmosphere is... Oh, there's no automation on the canister emptiers. Why not? This is taking up a little bit of labor. Oh, I know. It's because it's with sun sweep only. And we swept everything down here. There we go. That'll help a little bit. Automate the vent? No, no, no. These aren't on a vent. They just release it. There's no piping to them. They just, you put a bottle on top of them and then they go. And I was going to release, I was only going to say, hey, if the atmosphere in here is below 1,500 kilos, start throwing bottles into this. You can't, still can't move the canister or bottle with auto sweepers, yeah. One thing we could do is I could lock the canister emptiers in rooms and set the automation that way. Juice, squeeze. Eh. Yeah, exactly. Isumbaras also had the same idea. How does it come? Whenever a, a suit goes worn um, and they're like, okay, this suit's done, 
the oxygen that's left in it comes out in the form of a bottle. You can empty canisters right where they lie? Yes, you can. But if I release 10 tons of oxygen, it's gonna pop everybody's eardrums for quite some time. All right, so this is going well. I can stack that back up. We can sweep these. We're still just sitting here waiting for rails. Convey your bridge. There you are. That should be empty now. Here's, it's gonna take this a long time. There's a lot of phosphorite down here, which is a hey, all good and groovy. Now this one is gonna say phosphorite as well. Whoop. And it also needs a little bit of power like a funk soul brother. Boop. Hold on, chat. Are we searching eggs? Uh, searching eggs? What do you mean, Enzon? Does, so, does the auto super take auction bottles to fill suits? No. That also does not work. The only thing, the only way you can fill suits is with a pipe. Oh, somebody told me it's this dupe right here. Liv is living in here under a light. Liv is not supposed to live here. This is supposed to be somebody else's place. But they grabbed it because we did not assign it. So we need to find a duplicate who paid for the luxury package who's in a normal bed. Because that dupe is uh, nyctophobic. That's the reason why this light's here. And I have no idea who this is. Alright, so let's unassign live and try that there. Alright, chat. I have to go uh, shake the dew from my lily. I'll just be a minute. Whew. It's all this Gatorade and tea and everything. Mm. You know how it goes, chat. Boop, boop. Boop. I'll be right back. Oh, the bot's working! Yay! Oh. Oh, pay. Okay. Okay, that's a first. I've never seen a dupe get stuck in there. Oh. Pay. Oh, man, pay. I'm working on it. Pay! Oh my goodness! In an attempt to escape the door, Haunted Pay slams their head inside the tile. Now we have to drop all of this again. How in the world does that happen? Oh, wow. That's a new one. I've never seen that one. What we need to do is clip and then share the clip. Today's stream is not being brought to you by Perrier. And the reason why it's not is because, well, they don't even know I exist. But enjoy your Perrier! <laughs> And look, it's side-by-side -side buffer tanks. Who doesn't love that? Sassy Chick wants to say hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> that, is, that is the Sassy Chick. Yes! Oh, hold on. I need to get a Perrier. I'll be right back, okay? 
I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna walk away with my blue shorts. There we go. Yeah, I'm a little empty on the Perrier. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. oh, delicious. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. What's going on, chat? Today's stream is not being brought to you by Perrier. And the reason why it's not is because, well, they don't even know I exist. But enjoy your Perrier! <laughs> Um, the Chaos Crew seed will be chosen this time next week. For those of you interested in the Chaos Crew, let's put him in pigeon. Yes, let's put him on pigeon. Oh my goodness! Look at those ador. It's a onesie. It's even got the little feeties. Oh, man. But this seems like a possibility. Oh, somebody tell me. In the colony where, you know how I feel about it. It's that mid game lull that you just, like you're gonna spend a long time just, oh, where's my air? Oh. oh, oh, never mind. We have plenty to do. We have plenty to do. Yeah, we got to get a lot more steam in there. Look at that. We didn't even injure any dupes other than Cuddle Pip. Everybody's fine. Oh! Oh! Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yay! Ooh. Just take. We're going full pants this. mode, chat. Full pants mode. <laughs> Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal. Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal. Ding 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 ding. I did it for you, chat. I did it for you. Now, keep in mind as soon as you clip it, I'm going to delete it. I'm gonna quote Echo for this one. We don't play smart here. We play fast and loose. Fast and loose. The chair blocked it? Okay, we'll fix that. Hold on, I'll give you exhibit A. I'll give you an exhi exhibit A. Stay. It makes me mad. I don't know how Chloe Cosmos twirls with such, with like twirls with the grace of a ballerina. I don't understand it. How does Chloe do it? Chloe, teach me your twirl skills. Pumpkin pie in with 100 twirl bits. <laughs> and then B-dubs in with another 100 twirl bitties. Thank you for the twirl biddies. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. There is a litany of things. Is that an appropriate use of the word litany? I do believe so. There is a litany of things I'm supposed to be doing. 
Weazar says, because there's a Vodlander here. Yes. So Weazar and, we and I have this battle going because I like to wear the nice comfy socks, especially when it's a little chilly out. And Weazar is like, no, you need to wear the fun sock. Oh, no. Oh, how? Oh, we did it backwards. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Let's check the new blueprint. All right. All right, here we go. Here's what we're going to do. You ready? We're listening for the good sound. Everybody close your eyes. Close them. Don't go to sleep. We're listening for the happy sound. We did not get a happy sound. If it's gloves. If it's gloves. Ah! Do your... The trick for you? Whoa! Did I just knock the glasses off my own head? Who does that? That's new. How did I... What was I doing? I don't know. All right, up here. Ready? Hold on. I'm going to go under the desk. Ha ha ha. No more clips for you, chat. No one, no clips. No more clips. Oh, I think it's because I've drank so much Gatorade on top of everything else. It was one of those peas that you sit there for a lot, well, stand there for so long. You're like, Yep. Still peeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nope. There's more. <laughs> when are we doing the drawing? How many do we get today, Queen? I think we have two today. I think we have two, so it's probably time to do one. Yeah, Queen says we have two. Kevin, I hope you enjoy the ham. Let me uh, lower it from our clips volume. Okay, where were we? A labor. What is going on with the labor? All right, we got phosphorite going in now. This is going to increase labor a little bit because we no longer have to manually drop that off. So that's that's a small dupe labor game. Duplicate labor is one of those things that people, especially newer players, don't recognize and how important it is. Because if your dupes are doing too many things, they're going to fall behind on the things they have to do. And it's sort of like a, a cascading effect. Geeky! Geeky gamer with the 69 bits. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Much love to you, Geeky. Welcome back. All right. Um. All right. So we have phosphorite being delivered. We do not need this anymore. Because we are going to replace it with. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I messed up, chat. Ugh. Phosphorite. Blast shot. Okay. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> can you... Can you plumb rails? I do not know this thing. Oh, and this is... I do need to filter it, but I needed to filter it here. Right here. Colonel Sanders says, yes, you can plumb rails. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to separate everything for right now. 
And then we're going to do something like this and plumb them. Okay, this is not bad. This is not bad. We, this is easy gains. Easy gains. Okay. It's a recent addition to the game. Well, that makes sense that I didn't really know it. How recent, Leofar? Welcome back, by the way, Leofar. So one thing I worry about with my Ember Mug, um, because I use an Ember Mug, which for those of you didn't know, it sits on a base and it just keeps my tea warm for as long as I want to enjoy it. Lately, I've been leaving the tea bag in, which a lot of tea drinkers do. They leave the, the tea bag in. It's because I don't want to sit um, downstairs steeping it for the, you know, three minutes, two minutes um, that the Earl Grey requires to then throw the tea bag out. So then I end up with the tea bag inside the mug and it sits there for four hours. The difficult thing is I don't know if the tea bag is going to interact with the, the sensor in the ember mug that says, hey, there's a liquid in here. Let's keep it warm. I, I do not know. And I do not want to throw my tea bag into my little um, my little streamer trash can because it has no bag. I don't have a little baggie. There's this thing called a saucer. Look, Wikipedia's. Um, I don't I don't use a saucer, right? Okay. I don't I don't I don't use a saucer. I I don't know what you're you're saying. <laughs> Escape with the lurk. I appreciate you. Whoop. Guy says, listens to Americans talking about tea, shutters and British. I love tea. I don't drink coffee. I only drink tea. I blame I blame my, my English ancestors. I actually have a lot more French ancestors than I do English, but I do have some English. <laughs> That's another fun story. I did the ancestry DNA because I've always known that I'm a mutt, right? How does the mag called? I'll research how it works for you. How does the mag? I don't know what you mean, the mag. Zimmy says, doesn't the tea get very bitter if you leave the bag in for so long? It doesn't take me too long to drink it. So... It takes me long enough to where I don't want it to um, go cold. So that's the reason why I have an ember mug. But anyways, so a lot of my friends are Hispanic. And I've always had an appreciation for Hispanic culture. I love cultures. Everybody's heard me talk about this before. I love different cultures. I love learning about different cultures. But I've always been a mutt. That's how I've identified myself. Like I just, I'm basic white dude. Well, being basic white dude, you find yourself searching. Like, where can I put some energy into self-identification of where do I belong? Like, what was my 15 generations ago life like? That sort of stuff. Anyways, Ancestor DNA sends me the first thing. Oh, the mug is called an ember mug. Toph! Toff, in with five gifted subs. Thank you, Toff. And so my ancestry DNA came back that I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to butcher these numbers for most part. Um, French, English, most of the, the, that area, right? Most of that area. And for those of you who've ever gotten one, they come basically with a color map. The, the, the darker the color, the more you have from there. Well, there was 2%, 2% from a um, Central American country. And I was excited, right? I'm like, I am not a 100% white dude. I, I have 2% um, something. I was so like, look at me. Hola. <laughs> like, I, I was just all like, mm. I was telling all my Hispanic friends, like everybody was having a great time with it. Everybody was having a great time with it. It was so good. Yeah. And then Ancestors DNA sent me another form. Like two weeks later, it says, we made a mistake Just with your DNA test. And they updated the thing 
and they took away my 2%. They took away my 2%. Like, how, how is that fair? Do you have any Denosovian DNA? I don't know what um, the Denosovian DNA is, Rob Roy. <laughs> Sin says, tell him to put it back. Kaluna Bites says, I took one of those DNA tests to find something to throw back at my racist family's faces. Turns out I wasn't even related to them. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that situation, but that is a that's a funny story. It's like taking chocolate away from the kid. I know. Denosovian were the ancestors from most Asians and the people who walked over the Bering Land Bridge. I don't believe so. I do not believe so. I'd love to look it up for you, but I can't even remember anything about it. All right, so that's in there now. Clearly the French genes are not expressed. You'd be ranting a lot more. I rant a lot. Mr. Jibo in says Echo needs his stretchies and his drinkies. Thank you, Mr. Jibo. Oh, thank you for always caring about the streamer. I appreciate you. <laughs> Dinosovians are the extinct species of archaic human that lived in Asia from 285 to 52,000 years ago. The name comes from the cave in the Altai Mountains, where a pinky bone from a Dinosovian was found in 2010. Dinosovians are related to Netherlands, Nether Neanderthals, and DNA evidence suggests that the two pulses of interbreeding with Denisovians contributed to most of the ancestry of modern East Asians. Phosphorite will back up that line. Um, yeah, it will. Great point. Great point. So we will have to use a magical conveyor chute like this. We don't even really need it because they will eat it off the ground, but then we can put phosphorite in here. Did we already have this going? Phosphorite. There we go. All right, let's get another... Oh, our spine doesn't go all the way up here? Oh, this is the wrong colony. We have no spines up here. All of our spines come from here. That's okay. I'm game. I am game. I'll just start putting more in. Oh, wait. I thought we... How are we getting power to our spaceport then? We have some spines here. Chat, I run too many colonies. I run entirely too many colonies. I get... I get silly. Swap the loader and have it dropped off outside the ranch? Eh, you could, but I don't know if it's necessary, right? Alright, this line here is empty. Yeah, this will be perfect. Well, not perfect, but... You know what I'm saying! How are we gonna get that over there? Eh. They can't reach that, so that's a pain in the tuchus. Okay, we're just gonna have to build some bridgey things. Build some bridgey things! Here, 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 here. Conveyor bridge, like that. 
Streamer busy being pro, says Colonel Sanders. Uh oh, what did I miss? What did I miss? You even added me? They took you from 2% to skim. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. <laughs> Slicky Jeb says, okay, from the real little research I've done, the tea bag isn't supposed to be detected as a liquid. Thank you, Slicky Jeb. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh. Build a transformer on top of the bed. Um, yeah, we could have done that too. I just typically like to consolidate. Now, where are we going to put the massive amount of radiation? Probably over here. And then we can have all the builders right here. Because you don't want them running near the radiation. So maybe right here. All right, how do we do this? It's gonna take me a second because this is not an easy, it's not one of the easiest builds you're ever gonna do. Let's go like this. The key of this is you can't enclose the shine bugs. They can't be enclosed. Kiwi says, I'm so mad shine at shine bugs, but um, when it hits over 300 shine bugs, it let's, says my PC hurts. Luminate says, hi everyone. Managed to finally reach a, a stream to escape Vodland. Welcome, Luminate. We're glad you're here. So there, and we want to use um, the glass or diamond tiles because we want, in fact, I don't want to waste diamond on that. We want the light to be able to come through because it's cool. Can link yo in with the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the chaos. As a quick reminder, if you have not yet hit the little purple bell to follow the channel, you know, be one of the cool kids do it all right so now this is going to be taking out phosphorite phosphorite's going to be split everything else is going to be go keep going up that goes there what what is this waiting for and why does this say it is not a stable dark vorbug Actually, let me go back to Goenga32 in with the Prime for four months. Thank you, Goenga. And Dark Vorbug gifting a sub to Luminate91. Thank you, Dark. I appreciate it. All right, here comes the Foss right now. Uh, speaking of which, where is our little... I thought we were saving a Shine Bug from somewhere. Supplying and cooking with only irritable bowel sounds like a decent dupe. Let's grab this dupe. Um, unfortunately, there will not be a name because we old Zoldan for the death of their dupe. This is Quaft Quoka Jr. Welcome to the colony. You need to go run. Oh, we don't have a dupe gym here. Well, good luck. I thought we had a dupe gym. Yeah, well. <laughs> Highly recommend you don't get into a suit. No, don't make another one just to kill them off too. Hey, I'm the pot in this situation, okay? If I decide we need more genetic ooze, you know, you're missing one block in the stable. Ah, that's what it is. Thank you. Amy, hello. 
Amy, can you come see me for a minute, please? All right, this is good. All the phosphorites coming in as expected. This should be backed up by now. Uh-oh. This means there's a... Why is that not flowing correctly? This isn't supposed to do that. Um, we have an infinite loop. No, this, there's, oh, they're bringing the other foss right up. Why are you doing this? Opens Echo's doors office like she owns the place. Hi, Amy. Um, unfortunately, there's been some um, complications due to the recent vacation time that Quaffed Coca took. So can you please update the files and just change everything to say Junior? Right? Just, just add a Junior. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then, uh, then go buy yourself something nice, okay? Take the, uh, take the, take the company card. In fact, I haven't seen that company card in quite some time, so I'm pretty sure you still have it. <laughs> Is it connected to the bridge next to the one you deleted? Is it connected to the bridge? No, this is only sulfur. Well, that's a weird graphical thing. I don't know, chat. I honestly don't know. Disconnect it from the line on the right? There's nothing... You mean like this? That shouldn't do that, though. That's some jank. Uh, it's not a big deal because eventually all of it's going to go anyways, but... Oh, well. Amy says, also, Echo, thank you for the lovely flowers and the gift certificate to the new trendy restaurant. <laughs> the new trendy restaurant? The one that charges $64 for an appetizer? <laughs> oh. All right, now this can rejoin. And then this can also rejoin. Everything's a la carte, yes. Was that the Union Busters Cafe? No, we, we burned that place down. It no longer exists. We had some investigators coming, and so, uh, you know, you got to do, you got to make hard choices. All right, hard choices. Make a bridge for the right incoming line. Yeah, I could do that, but you mean like this. It just doesn't seem like you, you should have to. Maybe, maybe, let's try a quick restart. Normally restarts don't really fix this. If you take the bottom line to the right around the sulfur line, you don't need a bridge and it might not have the throughput. Let's check it out. Main menu. That's not a big deal. It's just kind of... Yes, Slicky Jub, you're right. Prediction, start a prediction. What's in the blueprint? 
You have five minutes from right now. We're talking clothes, wallpaper, or something else. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, chat. Wow, that's loading. Give me one second. One more second. Mm. All right, survey says. Yeah, no. Is that a 90s red Pizza Hut cup? It's similar. It's very similar, but yeah, it's probably the exact same cup. I just don't remember where we got it. So taking the sulfur line and sort of doing this. Maybe see if this fixes it. Colonel Sanders says it's a wow cup. What's a wow cup? Look at the contents of one of the empty spots on the rail. Nothing. Yeah, it's just this split right here. It does not like this split at all right after the bridge. Come on. Do it. No, I was asking if it was a World of Warcraft cup. No, it is not. <laughs> Any day. Just put a bridge on that line. I don't want to put a bridge on that line. No, it, it, it's the 50-50. see what it does here. Since when do 50-50 splits do this? Like, it's not a big deal to me, but it's kind of like, eh. Is that a full packet on the right? Yes, 20 kilo. That's a weird one. That can go down. Is the line to the fertilizer using a small amount each tick? Um, it should not be because it's going into here. Oh no, there's sulfur in here in this one. Hurry up. Hurry up. When we were doing all the things. Pyroy says, if you put a bridge on the bottom of the horizontal line, this one here, it should fix it. Yeah. All right. Blast shots are in. Happy times. Now let's go find the shine bug. There was a shine bug on this colony. And the only way, and it's rather hard to get rid of them. I normally put them in a spot where they're gonna be okay. Echo, is the direction correct? The correction of what, Daladin? In the Great Hall? There you are, little shine nymph. And you're only three years old. Perfect. Good eyes, chat. Good eyes. Whiskey. Happy Easter to you. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. All right, do not drop the shine bug. Bring them all the way up in here. 
Come on, buddy. Whiskey in with you. Ready for this? 45 months. Number one. They are number one on the list. It's incredible, Whiskey. What are we going to do for your 50th? I mean, we got to do something special for 50. 45 months. Whiskey says number one only because Cocky Chick was nice enough to be let me be number one. <laughs> buy a midlife crisis car I've actually then thought about buying a new car but it doesn't make sense my truck is paid off but I feel that urge for the midlife crisis car alright so now these are going to come up we're going to take all these extra eggs we're going to go across here and then we're going to drop them right in here yes yes now I just need a little bit. I actually got to remove this because I got to drop the water. Whoa. Just need a little bit of water, please. I bought a midlife crisis car recently, but I'm 28, so I just get to call it a fun car. What I get next? What would I get next? Um, I've always wanted a not a sports car but like a luxury, nice car. I used to think for a long time a BMW 5 Series. I love uh, German engineering. BMW is just a beautiful car, but I've seen too many 5 Series being driven by people that are just, ugh. So I'm off the, the 5 Series kick. Whiskey says an Audi RS3. I'm going to put that in my Google machine just to keep it there. Audi RS3. Oh, that is, that's pretty sexy. But is it a small coupe? See, I also don't want a small coupe. Or even sedan, because I can't get crunched down. Into, it'll kill my back. It'll absolutely kill my back. I can't, like, have to crawl into a car. And that, the Audi looks small. But I... I have been planning to take a look at Audis. It's going to be a long time because, you know, money. Um, but eventually, I'm going to have my truck forever. There's no reason. I mean, I don't really drive anywhere, so it has plenty of uh, plenty of miles. I think it's seven years old and only has 50,000 miles or something, 60,000 miles. Got Nate says, Audi or Audi? Fair. Fair. Boop. There we go. That's all we needed to do right there. Whiskey says, my truck isn't even three years old and I'm already at like 60K. Ouch. Did I miss the sour gas boiler, says Remy May. No, we're doing the um, shine bug reactor. So now when I do this, the bugs will be able to get in, but they will not be able to get out because of this water, if, if that makes sense. So it's a little room, so it's a little spot where the bugs just sit. Oh, I'd actually like, I can make this better. Because that way they'd, ha they'd have two tiles to run around in and you don't want that. So here's what we're gonna do. Sin just hit 140k on a 2018. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Did you miss the prediction? Uh, yes. We have not done it yet, but the, the prediction's closed. Amy says they're a fan of the uh, Mercedes S-Class. Geeky says I drove my last car to about 150 after 12 years and got it with 23 on it. Oh, oh that's a lot of driving. 
That's a lot of driving. Thalric! How? Hold on. How did I miss sli um, Slip Naraku? Was that during the break? Slip, I appreciate you. Three months with the Prime. And then Thalric coming in with 20 gifted subs. Thank you, Thalric. That's a lot. I appreciate you. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Wallpaper time. There's nothing to wallpaper in here. Swarzez wants wallpaper. I'll give you wallpaper, but you're not going to be able to see it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> First time chatter. Slip Naraku. I appreciate you coming in again, and I appreciate the, uh, the three months. I'm sorry I missed your prime. I'm guessing I was on break. I don't know how I missed it. Uh, now they can't get in there, can they? Uh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so now all the buggies go in here. All the buggies. And I'm not even going to set anything up yet until I am able to show you the ridiculous power of a shine bug reactor. Full disclosure, okay? Echo Ridge Gaming is not responsible for the damage this system will do to your PC. The If your power supply melts down from trying to run the Shine Bug Reactor, that is also not my responsibility and we do not take liability. Or your retinas, exactly. <sighs> Are you tame yet? You are still not tame. You haven't even been groomed yet. Oh, chat, what is going on? Why haven't this, it's not even been groomed? Oh, there's two Peggies. Aw, it's Peggy. Oh yeah, the, is it still a baby? Yes, it's still a baby, fair. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Exactly. There we go. Now start making babies. Start making babies. And then we... Furniture... Nope. Radiation... Yep. Are gonna put one right here. And then we're gonna put one right here. And then we're gonna put a rad bolt reflector right here. Boop. Now everybody's starting to see how this is gonna come together. <laughs> Is Sumbara says, let me preemptively get my solar eclipse glasses. It does get bright really quick. Amy said, since Lincoln killed off the town car, though, I switched the Cadillac, but I haven't driven one as long as I've dri driven Lincoln's. For personal use, I prefer a Caddy over a Lincoln. Cadillac does have some sexy looking cars, but I don't know if they're... I, I need to do more look into them because I still, because of my age, I still associate a lot of the the Cadillac sedans with like an older generation of drivers. So it's it's like one of those things. How many shine bugs will be in the in the farm in the end? Just two? No, eight. We're loading it up. Whiskey says new caddies are something entirely else, different entirely. Are they getting good reviews as far as like uh, maintenance and all that stuff? We're going to need a lot more um, power down here. We are going to end up. We are going to end up having to put some transformers here. Let the rays come out of the front. It'll look like a laser beam. I think it would have been better, you're right, if I would have switched this. But it'll still be okay. They're trying to get an F1 with Andretti and have been shaking things up in the hypercar racing series. I thought about getting a nice SUV. 
right? But is there really a difference from me getting an SUV and a, with my truck? I already have a nice truck with the extended cab and everything like that. And it's, it's nice. Like I'm sitting up on the road and it's a very nice truck. But, so that's why I kind of wanted something a little sportier. Sporty, but classy. We're just going to throw these rad bolts in there for a little while, like thump, right into the neutronium. Like a full SUV or crossover. I'm not a big fan of the crossovers. Yeah, Soil Blackfeather says too, no point in an SUV if I have a truck. Yeah, let me look at the Audis. Let me open up another one. Um, Cadillac. Like I'm in, I'm in the mood to uh, to make some irresponsible purchases. You know, something I'll really regret. What else did people say? Cadillac and Audi. Audi. Y2K says, I'm driving an 01 F-150. Yeah, I drive a uh, 2016 F-150. The Autoku 5 or RS5. Audi Q5 is now added to the list. Yeah, I would also like to have some better gas mileage. Um, my truck's decent for what it is, but it's still only like 16 in the city. I can get closer to 20 on the highway, but you know, I do care about stuff, so. Yeah, but that's that's gotta be a requirement if you're gonna give me ideas. I can't, let me try to do this. This is going to be awkward. I cannot sit in the car like this and be all scrunched up, right? I, I just, I can't do it. I need to be, like, I don't mind the gangster lean. You know what I'm saying. What's up? But I need, I need leg room. Like, I need, my legs don't do that anymore. I have to be able to stretch my legs. Whiskey says, when I had my Volkswagen GTI, it got tuned with APR software and added horsepower and I was getting like 35 miles per gallon on the highway. I can tell you to avoid Miatas. A friend at, um, when I used to work work, a friend there had a uh, Miata, one of the the rarer Miatas, the sporty ones. And I was, I was like, I don't know how you do it because they are tiny, tiny. A, another buddy of mine, he's a, a shorter dude though. Um, of Peruvian descent and he has a Toyota I always mess this up a Toyota 86 am I saying that correctly and it is I getting in his car is ridiculous but I say a Peruvian descent because um, like his entire family are, are, are small people So he has no problem with it. He has a lower center of gravity. <laughs> now I gotta go up and see what Sin's driving because they said they get 33 miles per gallon and don't have to crawl out of it. Oh, with the crossover. There. New 86 or old AE 86? I don't know what you mean by AE. Soriel Blackfeather says, my roommate drives a Mini Cooper, and even I feel large in that thing. I'm just a little 5'4 guy. Where's our first egg? Okay, they are now tame. Notice the reproduction is 67%. It's redonkulous how quickly these bugs breed. But unfortunately, they only have a small life cycle of 25 cycles.
but it's gonna work just fine we're still transporting phosphorite at a steady clip at least it's all off the bottom of the floor now how much do we still have here <laughs> 20 30 tons 30 tons You should buy an import Nissan Skyline R34. But is that's not luxury though. That's just a straight sports car. I don't want a just a sports car. I want something that is you know, comfortable luxury, not like super luxury, but you know what I'm saying. All right. Um let me get Let's do the prediction, shall we? Remember the rules, everybody's gonna close their eyes. Amy will be going around and checking to make sure that your eyes are closed. All right. And then the queen's gonna be falling right behind Amy going, you can open your eyes if you want to. <laughs> There's a new Toyota 86, which is a tribute to the old 86 from the early 80s, which was fully called the AE86. Now this one's like a Probably a mid 2000s or something. How can Amy check if their eyes closed? Well, she walks around the room and looks. I mean, it's a thing. It's a thing. All right, let's do it. All right, Chad, here we go. Everybody's eyes closed. We're going to listen for the fun sound. You're hearing the sound of my voice. You're relaxed, you're calm, you're starting to get a little excited though, because you know, just like I know, we're going to get something great. Everything's going to be wonderful and magical. Your day's going to be better. My day's going to be better. Here we go. Solid cobalt drywall. Solid cobalt drywall. Once again, chat. Once again. Once again. I got another duplicate! Why can't you give me the solid pink? Or the solid Satsuma? Huh? Why? Why, Clay? Recycle, recycle. Whiskey says I've got it. Toyota Supra, you do not got it. <laughs> oh. Hinola said Satsuma is orange. Yeah, we still need it. All right. Drywall is about to pay. Oh yeah, it is. Choose outcome, drywall, kaboom! Big winners. <laughs> Whiskey says, let me live vicariously through you. Remember the old, uh, what we call, Whiskey had some knee surgery a long time ago. Remember, this is Whiskey's 45th month being subbed. Um, I did take, you know, a couple years off, right, so. <laughs> And Whiskey had this little, this little thing. It was the ankle, not the knee. The little thing that they had to scoot around on. We had so much fun with that little scooter. <laughs> it was great. Oh. All right, critter eggs. We want, I'm just gonna put all critter eggs because there are so many different variation of shine bug eggs. I don't want them to randomly start morphing and us not be able to catch it. Great, great, great. No eggs in there yet, but there's our shine bug reactor chat. I know it's anticlimactic right now. Caddy pictures in the Discord. Did you at me, Amy? Jima, if you wouldn't mind stopping grooming yourself.
the Cadillac XTS. Oh. Oh, that is sexy. Chad, I, I'm going to have to give this a look. Yeah, and then I go look at the price tag, and I'm like, ah. Okay, Cadillac XTS. It's on the list, Amy. Thank you for sharing the pictures, by the way. How will you get them to refill the breeder? Um, we haven't gotten there yet. We have to add uh, incubators and that sort of thing. And that way there's always an incubator going because one incubator, one powered incubator, I think is enough. It's a whole thing. In fact, what we could do Hmm. We're going to put them up here. Buildings. I do not 100% recall. I think I had a two stage last time um, where I dropped them off to the incubator room and then they continued on. And I think that's probably the best idea. Well, not best idea, because that's a very, uh, you know, whatever word. Who knows if it's actually. And then we'll do something like this. And get rid of those. Bloop, bloop. Whiskey says, how about an Audi SQ5 sport tuned SUV? But we, I thought we've decided that because I already have a nice truck, getting an SUV, um, it doesn't make sense, right? Uh, that's not gonna work there. I gotta put doors there. How many do I need is the question. Incubates, 20%, five per cycle, so I can get five out of one incubator unpowered. Which means powered, I can do plenty with just one. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some weird, sexy automation stuff. Who's ready for sexy? Boom. Automations. Critter sensor. It's not gonna have nearly the same utility as your truck though. I mean, that's fair. A much more fun crossover with Legroom. Is it a big SUV or a one of the smallest, smaller SUVs? Luminate says Echo needs a bro car. That's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at, right? It's definitely more bro-ish. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send this over here. We'll start incubating when it doesn't have enough, and we'll stop it when it does. But I don't know how I'm gonna get that math to work out yet. And I also need to make this a little bigger because I need room for a... Hi, Peggy! Um, auto sweeper. Boop. Thema Jorstify. The Morse jo Thema Jorstify. The Major... The Major... Hello, the Major Stiffy. I don't know why my brain works the way I did, why it does, but I've got you. Hello and welcome. I appreciate the follow. Oh, 
Yep. Welcome to Echo Ridge Gaming. We don't do normal things here. All right. This will pick the eggs up. Now, uh, what I want is I want to count just the critters. And if it is below eight critters, it's going to send out a green signal, which is going to turn this incubator on. Once it does, I also want it to turn off this vent because it means I do not want any more eggs. I want none eggs in there. No, I want eggs in there, don't I? How about this? I just keep one egg in there at all time. That's it. I'll just keep one egg. It's not... There are probably better ways to do it. But this is the way we are doing it. Rain Bear, welcome back. Mango saying the thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you, Mango. We love to see it. Are you going to put a bridge in or just ignore my wisdom? What bridge? Why do we need bridge? What bridge do you speak of? All right. Okay, now there's one in there. So if the current count... Critters and eggs is below one, send a green signal. All the other ones will just pass through. The one in the transporter line. I don't know what you mean. Will the dupes move the baby critter to the ranch once hatched? Yes. From here? Yes. Lower. Lower. I don't know what you mean, Pyroy. This could be, uh, Pyroi says, okay, never mind. <laughs> They're like, dang it. <laughs> All right, so now this needs to say shine buggies. Oh, now here's the deal, though. We could get a hiccup in this whole system if the, the egg that comes through is not a shine nymph egg. But most of the eggs are going to be shine nymph eggs, so I'm not too worried about it. What about a Lexus RCF? Adding it to the list. I have looked at Lexuses. The only um, the reason why I've kind of been like, uh, is because I don't want to just buy a Toyota. Jaguar F-Type. Jaguar F-Type. I've heard Jags are very expensive to maintain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, come back here, window. I need you. Window? I went from the window to the wall. Where'd you... Oh, no, I messed up. Hold on, chat. I can't read you. I'm coming, chat. Oh, no, chat. I miss you. Oh, there they are. Turkey Man 999111. I appreciate the compliment and welcome. I appreciate it. So you said a Jag Wire F type. Thank you, Whiskey. 
Jeebo in with some stretchies and some drinkies. Oh, oh yes. That's a good one. Oh, it even, it even pendiculated. I even pendiculated. Where's my OBS? Why did all my windows... Like, this is just weird. Boom. I, I'm, I'm going to do some serious looking at that Cadillac XTS. Maybe I'll do it tonight. Rain Bear says, I have a newbie question. Should I only have one exit or entrance to the main base? I have two, but I don't know how to prevent the Duke from returning to the wrong dock. Um, so don't think of it as wrong dock. Think of it as, so we have two entrances. The bigger bases, you probably need two, but smaller bases, you can get away with one. And what you're gonna do is just click this button down here that says clearance always, or clearance vacancy. You want it to be in vacancy only mode. That way they will not come here unless there's a spot for their suit to be dropped off at. I hope that helped. But it is completely okay to have two exits or even more. The Kia K5, it's also a sporty sedan. I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard one like great thing about Kia. I know they've been up and coming for quite some time, or at least that's what, you know, you hear. See, now the vent is shut, so whenever an egg does get laid, um, it's just gonna get passed. I have it on vacancy, but some have to keep going all the way to the other one because the first one is full. Should I build extra docks? Absolutely. For the future, guy says, we need to deal with CO2. Why? Why does this make everybody nervous? I don't think we need to deal with it. I think it's fine. Mm hmm Fine, guy. Fine. For you, I'll do it. Don't! Let, oh my, this is the reason why I didn't want to. I don't want to, chat. It's in the base. Yeah, but they have plenty of oxygen, too. Look, dupe safety, as we all know, is priority number one. Why is this going... Okay, this is just wrong. I could bring it all the way down, but there's no way I'm getting it through there. Okay, I can maybe do it over here. Let's make Guy happy. Whatever you need, Guy. I will do it for you. Let's go one over. Oh, nope, that's not gonna work either. Son of a biscuit eater. Son of a biscuit eater! Hmm. Mmm, <laughs> biscuits. What is this doing? This is a holdover from who knows how long ago. Oh, what a pain in the tuchus. Okay, I got it. 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 Hold on. I've got it. Ooh. It's so bad. Whee. Here we go. Here we go. How low do we want to go? How low can you go? Hmm. 
I mean, carbon dioxide is not a great conductor, so we want to kind of crush it. We want to crush its soul. All right. Why don't you use the existing waste gas line? We are. It's right here. This is not waste. This was O2. I don't remember exactly what it was for. <gasps> oh my god. No, that is the gas. Why am I... Oh. oh no. This is what happens when you don't stop and smell the coffee for a little bit, chat. Why this whole game? I've been taking all of the natural gas, carbon dioxide, and dumping it right here. I love Ani because it's so delicious. Enchanted says, I tried to mention it weeks ago. Well, you got to yell at me. Sometimes you got to do alerts. I don't necessarily love the at mentions, but sometimes those are also um, important. But yes, chat. Get, scream at me. Get everybody. We need a command that lets chat know, hey, for this, so Echo sees it. So the entire chat gets in and on it. Gets in, get a little, 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 little. Gets in on it. That'd be kind of cool. All right, we're going to go from here now. And then we're going to go down. Right? No, there's already a line there. Okay, hold on. Well, look at this. How? Look at the spaghetti. How much spaghetti is this? All right. We're almost there. Mmm, pasta. Speaking of which, I'm going to need some food. Meteor showers. We don't need no stinking meteor showers. Wait, why? Why wouldn't I just connect it into there? Oh my goodness, chat. What is wrong with me today? The line comes all the way down here. Let's check some temps. Let's check some temps. Right here. This is where we're going. I'm going to bridge this on. Because I still need that natural gas to be able to get rid of its stuff first. Which means this will not be able to empty. Unless there's nothing already in this line. Beautiful. The brain is not right today. I've been taking some medicine. Maybe one day we'll talk about it. Um, but I find that as well as the medicine helps me for what I need it for the day before, it makes me kind of uh, zombie-like the next day. If that makes sense. Not, like, I'm not tired. I just can tell that my brain is not quite... Firing on all, you know, like my spark plugs are dirty. Gotta rub them things down every once in a while. Gotta get those spark plugs all nice and bright. You know what I'm saying. A ding dang do. Here's a nice line right here. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh, you know what, Colonel Sanders? How long have you been subbed here? How long have you... What's your follow age? Colonel Sanders and only Colonel Sanders for now. Hit me with a follow age. <laughs> Colonel Sanders unfollowed. It must have been one of those games. Add. Oh. 
Uh, whoop. Anders. We'll work on this one. We'll work on this one, okay? We'll make it better. But we now have a... <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Add. Eh. Hello, Colonel Sanders. What do you mean? Oh, I, I, I did it plural. It's command. Add. Actually, no, we're going to say. Colonel. Yep, just Colonel. Is what we'll do. And then it will say. <laughs> oh, congratulations on your personalized command. <laughs> Thanks for all the laughs, Colonel Sanders. All right, so now we need to, need to put automation on it. This is great, right? Like we're pumping out one kilo worth of carbon dioxide every single second. But we need some automation, right? Because eventually it's going to be pumping out oxygen. We don't want it to pump out oxygen. We only want it to pump out carbon dioxide. So we're going to take a gas element sensor and we're going to put it down here. Then we're also going to use a buffer. Was it a filter gate? Yes, it's a filter gate. Filter gates are one of my favorite gates. You know? I mean, you don't have favorite gates. Iger says I need Slicksters. Unfortunately, Slicksters wouldn't do anything for us. Unfortunately. Because the, none of this is warm enough. It's all too cold. Uh, and we also need a knot gate. Mm. Okay. Let's... Deconstruct this one. Stop it. Stop it. Put the filter gate here. We'll put the knot gate here. The building automation's out of steel. Yeah, I don't even care. Like, I, I can't. I can't. I don't. Why is it made out of steel? Why is it defaulting this to steel? I probably built last one in the sauna. There's no telling. Don't put it below the pumps. Put it above the pumps. Uh, you are, of course, right. And I'll explain why in a second for those who uh, are, may not be aware. Hmm. Hmm. Open up. Mm-hmm. All right. Last time. Last time. Filter gate's gonna go here. Not made out of steel. Made out of the cobalt. And then we need the knot gate. Boop. There we go. Can we change materials? Yeah, we can. I did change them there. It's gonna go in here. Oop, no, 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 no. Thank you. There we go. When carbon dioxide fills this entire area up and sits right here, this gas element sensor is going to pick it up. But we're not going to be looking for carbon dioxide. We are looking for oxygen. So if it's anything but oxygen, it's going to fire out a green signal. Or actually, it's going to fire out a red signal. When it's firing out that red signal, the knot gate flips it to a green, goes through the filter gate, and then turns on the gas pumps. We set the filter gate at 30 seconds because we don't want just some errant piece of carbon dioxide coming to hit this. We want it to be a full tank of unleaded. But now I also want to get rid of all this because I need easier ways for carbon dioxide and everything else to fall. Why are these all, what are, okay, that's seven. This is definitely not seven. 
What can I say except you're welcome? Marco with the follow. I appreciate you. Soft migrant, we don't have any new dupes to name yet. So I refunded you your echoes. Pyroid, uh, thanks for the tip. I'm refunding that. That would have definitely been a mistake. <laughs> Slicky jab. Slicksters will not work because you killed them again. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. And quite frankly, uh, this level of abuse will not be tolerated. I guess we're not doing that there. This one, though, can go back over here. Yeah, that works. And we need another one. Not made out of plastic. Just to kind of clear it up a little bit. It'll allow the flow. We're real big fans of flow here. Why is that here? It must have been old when we were doing um, four row tiles up there. Uh-oh, what did I erase? Oh, how did I do that? Radiation? Nobody's got time for radiation. We've got three in there now. I'm not even going to go look. We're not even going to go look yet. But notice, they're just chilling. Chilling. I had a pet Slickster once. Then Mr. Echo came for coffee. I haven't seen my Slickster since, Miss Dravy. <laughs> oh. Check on those gas lines again. Oh, how? Oh, thank you. Good call. Oh, Mr. Marquis about to get stuck like Chuck. Uh, you need to go home, please. Come over here. Don't dig there. That is not safety. What is flooding? My brain? Oh, uh, it's stuff we've found over here. From our newest digs. Shovels! Oh, you know what that means. Time to throw them in Dumpkin Pie's room. Man, we've got a nice collection of shovels. <laughs> it makes me so happy. So many puppies. If I can click on the critter sensor. There it is. There are now 75 shovels or their eggs. You missed a line to dig at the right, says Simburus. Let me check. Did I? Over here? I don't see it. Oh, no, that's too tall. Oh, no. Oh, that means this line is off. Something's off. Oh, it's so horrible. It's this one right here. No! What is wrong with you? Bloop. 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 Oh, man. 
We're about to have so many stuck dupes. So many stuck dupes. Right of the purple, one big one vertical line of dig commands is missing. Yeah, we're still getting a lot of them. I will look at it in a minute. Once I fix this boo-boo. It's a big boo-boo. It's gonna need one of those super band-aids. More pipes about to be disconnected? No. Surely not. Boom. This can also be mopped. Mop, mop, mop. All day long. Mop, mop, mop. Six again. Yup. I told you. Something isn't right in my brain. Thank you, chat, for helping uh, keep the chaos to a relative minimum. Oh, man. LCP, Chi, hello. How are you? But well, we like the chaos. But I like the chaos. Oh, Liz Clemson. Weird Dream's about to have a nice fall. Whoop. There it goes. So far, no one's dying. That's always a good thing. Oh, Jari. Jari's dying. Jari, can you get somewhere? Yes, you can. Get over here. Oh, all of these dupes are stuck. It's okay. It's okay. Let's do one of these actions. Oh, no. Coca Poca, you need to come down here. All right, let's just do it this way then. Because Coca Poca is going to keep moving. Oh, this is bad, chat. I don't think you realize how bad this is. Woo! Coca Poca, I wish you good luck. Here comes the team. Here comes the team. There goes Coca Poca to sleep. Coca Poca, approximately 35% oxygen. We're doing great. Doing great. If they can dig this out. All right, Coco Poco has a chance. They have a chance. Oh, there's the pee. It's all right, let it all out. Ooh, it feels nice and warm in my suit. Keep digging. Oh no, now we gotta go up. <gasps> Coco Poco's gonna have to dig themselves out and we're safe. We're safe. Mm. We are safe. I mean, I didn't tell the dupes to do that. So don't blame me, chat. Do not blame me. Now, the reason why we did that, though, is because now all the carbon dioxide from the map will have an easier time to flow down. Oh, yeah, that's 15 frames per second. So it'll all start coming. That's eight frames per second. Mm. Seven frames. 13,900K, baby. Six frames. <laughs> yes. All right. This looks good. Looking for lower numbers. That's right. Dark Beringer. First time chatter. Welcome. P at the Atmo docks. Yes. Of course there is. Can we also pick up the floor a little bit, dupes? I wish there was a little bit more of Wormworld type things in the game. For instance, being able to... Um, set up continuous things like, hey, whenever you see debris, 
Just go get it. Go get it and bring it here. We will clean the burial site as well. For reference, right now on a normal screen, I'm at 40 frames, 45 frames. We're not going to have that long here, though, but look at this. We're starting to generate some radiation. It's not a lot right now. So the water actually has a 24% radiation blocking effect. The glass... Sixty-five percent, but up here in the corner spots, we're doing better. Right now, we're getting forty-two rats per cycle. But hold on to your horses. That feeling when you opened up the gas menu in an i7 8550. Oh, first time chatter. Uh, games. That's gotta hurt. Why couldn't I put water on both sides? I suppose I could, but I've always liked the two radiate the two rad bolt generators, and it would have been a little bit more awkward. In the in the long in the long in the long term, it's not even going to come close to matter mattering, not even even in a little bit, because it's just everything's going to get crushed. Maybe a door. You can't use a door because they have to be open to the environment. Like they, this has to be a big, big room. You can see this room is 31,640 tiles. All right. This is open, which because we don't have eight critters in here yet. Nice. Now, the reason why they call this a solar, a uh, rad bolt generator or a shine bug reactor is because you can quite literally, you'll notice the light, come on. It is starting to display already and you can put solar panels under here and it will absolutely power these solar panels. Which we should probably do, but I'm going to need to move this power line in order to do it. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. What movie is that from? I know that movie. That sounds really familiar. Spider-Man 2. You can tell the generational differences. So Little Chick is a nerd. She's a beautiful, beautiful nerd. Um, and she has been really getting into Spider-Man. Probably mostly thanks to Miles Morales and those amazing anim animated movies. Well, she always goes back and watches the old Spider-Man. She likes the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man better than the Tobey Maguire. I, of course, like the Tobey Maguire one. Lucky Wolf, I appreciate the lurk. And then, um, and yeah, Into, uh, Into the Spider-Verse was an amazing, amazing movie. If you have not watched the internet, they now have two of them. Was it Into and Beyond? Absolutely amazing movie. Um, I kind of want to move this now. To something like this. Let's get rid of it here. Hopefully I can build all this. I think I can. Kitsune Wan says, I cannot settle um, between Toby and Andrew. Toby was the better nerd. Andrew was the better Spider-Man. One of my favorite scenes of the Andrew one was when... 
I lo- I'm, not, I'm that person that likes origin stories. And so, um, who's the newest one? <sighs> Zendaya's boyfriend. Help me out. Oh. Right now, I should be shunning myself for not knowing this. Uh... Tom Holland. I like Tom Holland. I like Tom Holland's uh, Spider-Man. I like it all, but we never really got an origin story, right? Even the producer's like, oh, we've already done too many of the origin stories. So I just, you know how it is. Anyways. One of my favorite scenes from the Andrew Garfield ones is when he's figuring out his powers and he's finally able to get back at the bully. Oh, with the basketball. So great. How you liked Spider-Man No Way Home? The you can't do that, huh? I'm not sure what you mean. LCPG says, I have not seen any of the Spider-Man movies. Peachy. Peachy. You gotta do it, okay? More? We've already doubled the amount of radiation in five minutes. We're now up to 83 rats per second. Uh, we have a, still a lot more to do here. Because now it's time to put in... Where are you? Where are you? Refinement. Diamond presses. Yes. We will keep them away. Whoop. Whoop. And then we will use some of these reflectors to throw them down. And then we're going to be able to have automation. Yeah, let's do another one. Let's just... Let's just get silly with it. Why is the radiation all over the stairs to space? Uh, yeah, it is getting a little bit of extra, huh? It's just not blocking everything. Now we can point these down, copy these settings. And what we're going to do automation wise is when the rad bolt storage is full, send a not symbol, a not symbol, a not signal to these rad bolt reflectors that says, hey, don't come here. Because it will, we use a not gate, we flip it the green to red, and it turns off this rad bolt reflector, so it will not accept any rad bolts. So then the rad bolts will go to the next one. Now keep in mind, they got some pretty good storage. They can hold a decent amount of rad bolts. In disabled form, would a diamond press be better storage than a rad bolt chamber? I like so. I like to think so. Let's get another one going. So I'd prefer not to run out. Like I don't want, I don't want um, rad bolts to get past this one. But if it does, we're just going to send it all the way over here into the neutronium. It eventually will break through that neutronium, but I don't think it's going to be able to, well, at least for a little while. I think the dupes will make plenty of the good stuff because we're also going to add in. Oh no, where's the tile of interest? It's the bottom one. Oh, that stinks for me. Because it's... Look at this. Dang it. All right, all right, all right. Steel wires? Yeah, probably. You know how we do around here. You know how we do. Sorry, chat. We got to do this over. Because I'm a nincompoop. I'm sorry, I'm a nincompoop. Okay. 
steel wires. No, we used cobalt wires. Here we go. Now I can put what I need in here. Which is a little shipping thingy. Boop. Like this. Like this. And then I'm going to do one more right here. Orbit 8 says, time to check out for the night. Take care, y'all. Take care of yourself. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you coming. Boop, boop. And we're doing this. That way the dupes don't manually have to transport coal. We should be able to get to the coal fairly easy because it's right here. Right here. For your viewing enjoyment. Did I just run out of copper? Come on. I thought we did so well with the coppers. All right, what else are we gonna use then? Clay, please make rails cheaper. I'm gonna use steel. I don't care. I don't care. I love it. Boom. They're just too expensive. There we go. These are going to load up all the coal that the hatches are producing. Coal's then going to get transported all the way up here into these wonderful conveyor receptacles where the auto sweepers are going to grab it and stick it into diamond presses. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I need the, to be refined carbon first. Let me think. Let me think. All right, no big deal. Let's see how that works. Why are we making a lot of diamond? Uh, well, it's we're just eating the radiation coming off of the, the Radbolt thing. But it's also because we can turn it into lime. We're just being, you know, mega about it. Because this is the mega base. Bloop! Bloop! I'm hoping this works, although I am not entirely convinced. We'll see. Diamond to lime? Yep. Diamond. We'll take the diamond and we'll put it into our happy little thing right here. It'll spit out fossil. 100 kilos worth of fossil. Has anybody done this math? Is this is this um, sedimentary rock positive? So one kilo of diamond will give us 95 kilos worth of sedimentary rock. So one kilo of diamond goes to 100 kilos fossil to 95 kilos of sedimentary rock. Uh-oh. Will I notice what? Oh, this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, and then we take that. And we're going to be able to get 100 kilos of diamond. I think it's po I think it's positive. Because we're going to get 100 kilos back, and then we're going to be able to feed the sedimentary rock right back to the hatches. 617. Yeah, let's switch those over. Uh, 
Oh, I did not unselect Igneous. Sedimentary rock is fun. If you're ranching hatchets, absolutely says Mind Right. First time chatter, welcome. Ew, let's go with the um You know the words. Igneous. Remove it. Thank you. And then I want you to do all the sweepies right here so there's no more of the igneous rock in here so I can Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. It's all that's good and pure in the world. Now, the reason why I did that, uh, oh, it can't reach. Are you kidding me with this right now? All right. That can go away. Utilities. We will run the kiln over here. It's a little stop gappy, but I think it's going to work out well. So the coal is going to come in. Shipping conveyor rail right here. Like that. And then we're everything's going to get picked up and put back in. Right here, there's going to be an auto sweeper. And then there's also going to be some automation. A conveyor rail element sensor right here. And that way I can turn off this kiln. I'm sorry if I'm stream... Uh, what do we call it? Like I'm talking through the thoughts in my brain. So what we can do is we can take this... And I can turn it into a, I can have a filter and it says, hey, if there's refined carbon in this line for X amount of time, turn off the kiln. Turn off the kiln. So like a little naughty gate, because who doesn't like a naughty gate? And then a little filter gate. Like that. Just the same way we did with the pumps, taking up the carbon dioxide. We're going to be doing the same exact thing. Except this one's going to be looking for refined carbon. This is going to be picking up refined carbon. And we need a little bit of power. What does this have? 1680? No, that's too full. Too full, too moss. Too buku. Dave. Welcome back, Dave. El Professor de Historia. Welcome. Welcome to the chaos. We also have a drink and a pandiculate. Whew. From Elsie Peachy. Thank you. Cheers to you. Boom. All right. So here's our refined carbon. Why aren't we transferring yet? Where's my coal? Okay, first, because you have no power. You need power. And then you need settings. Coal, coal, coal to do. Coal, coal. Pop. There we go. Yes. Let there be coal. Who knows, Joe says I have the meat sweats. Dave says I just had lunch with the fam. Didn't quite agree with me. All right. So this is going to go in here. And we're going to turn it into refined carbon forever and ever. We're going to put another priority one so the duplicates don't get any bright ideas about doing it themselves. 
And I suppose I am going to end up putting... Power. Power. I don't know why the melody of the seven dwarves is in my head. But it is. Okay. Can't be helped. We'll have enough coal for that? Yes. We've been ranching hatches forever, and I... Um, I believe this is a coal positive process. Yeah, we have 1,400 tons. All right, now this needs to get all copied over. Oh, no. Uh, something's broken. Unless the first one was just gapped. But they shouldn't have starved that quickly. Oh, it's too warm! 44 degrees! I'm, I'm gonna have to cool it anyways, but that's exactly what it was because these little fellas... What do they go up to? Livable range is 49. Okay, this water is going to be perfect. Boop, boop. They're too hot. Oh, Jesus, is, Jesus has got some math for us. I appreciate you doing the dirty work for us. One kilo of diamond to 100 kilos of fossil. To 95 kilos of sedimentary, yep. Stone hatches, 50% conversion to 47.5 kilo. Kiln is an 80... Press for one... Press one for one conversion to 38 kilos of diamond. So it's a one to 38. Will that water always be perfect? Perfect enough. Because of the... Remember when I was arguing with all of chat saying they're like don't cool the water just cool the oxygen And I was like no I like my systems the way I like my systems because I am an old get off my lawn sort of type of person and Jesus yeah no I get it's a one kilo diamond in and 30k 38 kilo out I'm wondering what the coal is are we negative or positive on the coal That's what my cure is because, well, they're going to eat 140 kilos worth of sedimentary rock. And for that 140 kilos worth of sedimentary rock, we are going to get 70 kilos of coal. So then the math just becomes really cool, um, convoluted. But that's the whole reason why I go through the such painstaking processes to do things like this. Because now, whenever I need nice and chilly water, look at this. I just fix an entire cooling it problem in two seconds. And it's already cooling down. I think you forgot to convert two of your hatch feeders from igneous to sedimentary. I will double check that. Thank you. All right. That's good there. Um, this is just sedimentary. Nope. They're good. Oh, nope. They're not good. Apparently. Apparent. Apparent's not. Now, the chilled water past that um, does carry heat. I am not worried about it because we have a thermal aqua tuner system in here to keep all this area cool. But it's passing with such, you know, it is warming up. But eventually, it's 
it's passing so much water through there, it's just going to beat down that heat pretty easily. We'll probably also extend it through here. Have I considered doing a new series or tutorial including showing this new story traits and its progression? It is on the list. It is definitely on the list. All right, so this is picked up. That is needing to be picked up. This is refined carbon. De Why aren't you loading? Disabled by automation grid. Uh oh, I've done something wrong. I don't need the not gate, do I? Refined carbon. Oh, there's already refined carbon. Oh, wow, that was quick. We've already filled these up. So now forever. Copy. Look at this. Auto supers are taking the refined carbon. Turns this thing back on. And now the dupes, whenever they're, you know, bored. I am going to put these on a priority of four. Because this is not something we need to be worrying about. Look at that beautiful setup. Like, seriously, chats? Point to Loma says, what happens when you dig into a vacuum? Um, nothing tragic. It's just, um, you'll be losing atmosphere from your area that you were digging from. Oh, wow. That's a clean, clean system. I like that a lot. All right, here's what we're going to do. 117 rads right now on the center tile. 83 on each of these. I'm going to go ludicrous speed while I go use the little, um, the little streamer's room. Oh, and we'll see what happens when we get back. I'm a little nervous about ludicrous speed, but there we go. Times 10. By the way, chat, we still don't have enough mixed berry pie. We're going to have to update, update those numbers or something. Yeah, we got 7 million calories, but no mixed berry pie. I don't love that. Just in case I'm going to save it. Does, doesn't the conveyor loader have a full sensor signal? I don't know what you mean. This one here? Uh, well, no, this one's just, it enables or disables, so I, it's much easier just to turn off the kiln, because I don't need to create refined carbon when they have enough, is sort of the reason behind it. Pick this stuff up too, please. Now we're really going to see how backed up they are, because all of these, well, they don't have rad bolts right now, so that also makes sense. All right. And then when we come back, we're going to see what kind of progress is made. I'm also going to put the prediction up for the second prediction so everybody has something to do. I'm going to make it for 10 minutes this time since I'm going to be on the quick break, grabbing a Slim Jim and stuffs. Uh, 10 minutes, blueprint. It is up. Oh, actually, let's go 15 minutes. Get your echoes in. It is starting. It is up. Beautiful. And... Now I just gotta kill the music. Audio. Whoop. Good stuff. I'll be right back. After these messages, we'll be right back. That day since incident zero. No, the dupe was fine. Look, they're still running around. They're doing great. Look at them. That's what it looks like after a hard day at work. Oh, all right. <gasps> Consumables. No, you cannot eat curried beans. No curried beans for you, but look how good they look. Chad, look at them. 
Look at all them curry beans. Mm. Oh, wow. We did it, chat. Let's check the new blueprint. All right. All right. Here we're gonna, here's what we're going to do. You ready? We're listening for the good sound. Everybody close your eyes. Close them. Don't go to sleep. We're listening for the happy sound. We did not get a happy sound. If it's gloves. If it's gloves. Ah! Dr. Ch Chotica, not Max. I don't I don't understand the reference, but we're going to go with Dr. Chaotica. Now this is going to be confusing. Because the doctor... The, oh, Chaotica. <laughs> oh. Oh. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yay! Says, hey, Echo, date is going great now. Just stopping in to say hello. I hope your date takes your phone and flushes it down the toilet. <laughs> you can't stop in when you're on a date. You can't stop in. Tell her I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. See, everybody thinks I'm the one that brings the chaos. <laughs> no, 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 no. Chat brings the chaos. I'm just the conductor. Choo -choo. It says, quick, Echo, talk about what you love about Perrier, its flavor, its texture. How about the way it just makes you feel? When you take a wonderful Perrier, for me, it's the pineapple flavor, but rest assured, there's plenty of flavors available for you. The crisp, carbonated water. Every... Make every day a Perry Yay Day. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And the man selling the lemonade says, Do you have any grapes? And the guy says, No, I don't have any grapes. So he says, Okay, I'm leaving. I'll see you again tomorrow. The duck then comes back tomorrow and asks the lemonade stand guy, Hey, do you have any grapes? No, I don't have any grapes. I sell lemonade. All I have is lemonade. I don't have any grapes. The duck says, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. This goes on and on and on. And finally, the lemonade stand owner gets very frustrated and says, look, I've already told you I don't have any grapes. All I sell is lemonade. If you come back here and ask if there's any grapes, I'm going to tape your bill shut. So the next day, the duck walks up to the lemon. Is it a Dr. Decorator dupe combined into one for a total of about 22, 23,000 echoes? Oh, this is a doctor or a decorator. <laughs> Oh, the queen giveth, and she taketh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, here we go. There is a decorating dupe. There's actually two of them. <laughs> oh. Shadow Wolf was waiting for the new YouTube intro. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bro Echo, back with a new video. <laughs> Holla! <laughs> Do your the trick for you. Whoa! Did I just knock the glasses off my own head? Who does that? That's new. 
How did I? What was I doing? I don't know. All right, up here. Ready? Oh, the colony where you know how I feel about it. It's that mid game lull that you just like you're going to spend a long time just. Oh, where's my air? Hold. Oh. Oh, never mind. We have plenty to do. We have plenty to do. What up? Sassy chick wants to say hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> that is that is the sassy chick. And Max, please stop fondling the ears. Unless I give you the little wink. Okay? <laughs> Not in front of everybody. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Carrie? Carrie's about to die. Why is Carrie about to die? Is that oxygen? <laughs> oh! Oh! Echo's dead! It's chaos! Yay! Pumpkin pie! Queen is here! Oh, those labels better be facing out, okay? Those designers made that label a way, that way, in a, for purpose. There's a front, and then there's a back. You don't want to look at it from the back, you want to look at it from the front. Otherwise, Oh, you, you don't even know if you, you're picking up a can of peas? Or is it a can of carrots? Who knows? It could be anything! Chaos! Ah! Oh, the bot's working! Yay! Look, no one tell Komori. I believe your cookies are in my box. Oh, no. Oh, how? Oh, we did it backwards. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Two, one. Yay! Give me the talking points, Queen. Look, I have been behind the times. I'm behind the times. Queen says ignore it. Nemetrex says fairly sure it's not a mod. Well, here's the storage bin. Oh my. Chat. Why do I see so many bro echoes? I'm guessing there was a bro echo sighting. <laughs> Look what we've done just during the break. Look what's happened. Look what's happened already. What up? Welcome back, chat. Glad to be here. Glad you are. A little later, we're going to go in real life. We're going to walk around the town with our camera. We're going to do one of those obnoxious streams that somehow get 12,000 views. Or average 12,000 viewers. I don't know why people love reality TV shows so much. That's what it reminds me of. All right, let's see what we... Remember what it was before, right? <laughs> wee wee! 
Oh, it's only 155, or it's only 55 per cycle right now. I'm actually surprised by that. But it's, uh, well, it's up to 600 rads per cycle. 800, 937 in this dial. Now that it's at the correct temperature, it's working. Yes, the reason why it wasn't before is because the Shine Nymphs were dying because they have a livable range. And if they are living outside their livable range, they just, they die. So it was killing off the existing Shine Nymphs when they were born. All right. Note to Echo, need more highlights clips to keep us entertained while Echo is AFK. Hey, you got to talk to chat for that, Dave. I don't make the clips. You guys make the clips. You clip me more and you get more, I guess, things. Siroku says, I just found out you get three blueprints every week. Enjoy. The resets on Thursdays. No solar panels? No, not yet. We're, we're getting there. I'm thinking I might be able to... Yeah, we can go up here. Is this a good spot? Because I'm, I need to remove these ladders. Mm, yeah, this will work. And then we can slowly get in here. Uh, let's just go. Probably do something like that. Turn our music back on. Thank you, Kutai. We have two minutes left with the prediction. The prediction is up. We did an extra long prediction for the break. Is it going to be closed? Is it going to be drywall? Or is it going to be something else? You have one minute. Get in while the getting is good. We're up to 140, 165,000 echoes up for grabs. Jesus Gouda says, am I the only one surprised at how efficient the diamond press is? It'll, it'll get better, but the limitation in it is normally the radiation. Remember, it takes two or it takes a thousand rad bolts a thousand rad bolts to get the hundred kilos of diamond oh I did that wrong didn't I actually let's just do this right? that'll be easier <laughs> would be great if it was orange socks though says Rem Oh. But one one to one refined carbon and diamond is impressive, yeah. I like it. Seventy one per cycle. Do you see how quickly it's going up? It is just great. All that is good in the world. In fact, I'm going to go times 10 speed for the rest of this episode, um, just so we can see how this is looking. <laughs> Look at the light. Even the light is just flat out silly. Bing! 32,400 lux. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Um, did we do a good enough job with the radiation? Yes, we did. Notice the radiation cuts off. It's almost perfect. So we're not getting radiation bleeding on the ladder. Because otherwise they eventually get sick. Now can I get two solar panels in here? There's one. Oh, it's so close. I might be able to still. I might be able to. Yes. Yes, we can. It's so silly. Prediction? Are we ready for the prediction? 
with 96, 97 plus, let's say 187 minus six, so 181,000 echoes up for grab. A beach chair under that light ought to be nice, right? <laughs> Yeah, already we're up to 124 watts. Oh, so glorious. Light overlay. <laughs> and it's only going to get better and better and better. It will never stop. Unfortunately, eventually we'll have to do some sort of culling because we just won't be able to play the game. The second panel. Oh, it is. Good catch. Good catch. Hold on. Got it. Got it. Well, this makes it look a lot less clean, huh? Ew. This one will go down that way. There we go. Yeah, it's much less clean, but... Oh, we're already starting to get some uh, nuclear waste. Don't love seeing that. Don't know why, either. It only has 677 rad bolts in it. Oh, yep. Touche. That's not good. Let's put a nice little bridgey there. Bridge, bridgey, bridge, bridgey, bridge, bridgey, kapoo. Hopefully the dupes can reach. I'm actually surprised this one's not producing more right now. It will, though. Blueprint? Absolutely. All right, everybody got their eyes closed? Anonymous gifter? Who are you? Who are you? Come on, peek in. I see you. Thank you, Anonymous. One of these days, I am going to squeeze you so hard. I'm going to pick you up and twirl you around and just keep squeezing. All the squeeds. For first time chatter, peps. Given thanks for the anonymous gifting. We appreciate you. All right, let's do it. No guts. Hmm. It's gloves. It's gloves. It's always gloves. I don't know why. It's always gloves. Socks of the hands, <laughs> says Rob Roy. Oh, I do think they are a, at least a new set of Atmo gloves. Atmo suits. Yeah, they're at least new, but it's still like, meh. There are far too many gloves and socks, I agree. <laughs> Hi, Miss Shay Shay. Regis Streaming says, first time chatter, by the way, says, Atmo gloves are better than regular gloves. I mean, we almost have a full collection. How weird is this, though? Look at all of the gloves we have gotten. We've gotten gloves for days. But, like, five pairs of pants. I just keep getting more and more gloves. All right, um, I don't know what else to work on today. That was a big one. Oh yeah, oh, I just dropped down to four frames already. 
So we'll have to, we'll probably be doing things like this, like going around it when we're looking. <laughs> All right, we're back up here and then we'll go back down because the game does not like to just zoom me over that. Soroka says, that is Clay telling you winter is coming. <laughs> How's this system here working? This is fine because now that there's eight in here, this little dude will just sit in here and wait. We only need to be counting critters and eggs. Yeah, so we'll wait until there's no more critters or eggs in there. It'll, In other words, this little dude will die. Um, and then that's when we'll start letting them in again. And we should still be able to keep up with the eight. If not, what I'll do is I'll end up just counting eggs. Counting eggs would be a good strategy too. In fact, I think we have to just count eggs because if we count critters, eventually there'll be more and more critters in here and we'll have to cull them. So it ought to be like one of these every once in a blue moon. But that's fine. There are better, I think there are better ways to do this system, but I think this is clean. I mean, that's gotta be the picture, right? Oh, that is nice. Mm-hmm. I think that's gonna be a sexy thumbnail. Sexy thumbnail! Everybody get ready to say cheese. Uh, today I want to hear your favorite cheese to put on crackers, okay? So, none of the weird stuff you've been putting. Three, two, one, cheese! Got Nate got the salmon and cream cheese. Whew. What are we up to now? 431 rads per cycle, collecting 111 rad bolts. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Whoa! It's 1,100 rads per cycle right now. Yes! Absolutely. Uh, and we can also check out the decor. I don't, they may have changed this. And right now, that's only with 27 bugs. Only with 27. Well, I guess 28 including the Sun Nymph. But eventually it'll be a lot more. Significant hazard, yeah. <laughs> the decor looks pretty good though. Right, let's do another check around here. I bet somebody would love a shine bug bedroom. Don't give them any ideas, Luminate. There's some lime. I'd love to pick up that lime, but... I think the barbecue over here is probably better. No, let's, get, let's take the lime. They can fend. They'll figure it out. 150 kilos of lime is a lot. Oh, the camera. Touche. Way to go, Mr. Rusty. The forbidden petting zoo. Oh, no! Oh, no! It's too cold! All right, no big deal, no big deal. We've got this. We can get, we should have replaced these wee warts a long time ago. Can you groom Slicksters or is it bugged at the moment? I have not heard anybody saying anything about um, issues grooming Slicksters. Did I make those out of Radiant? Uh, of course I didn't. No more Draco soon, I know. We've got eight cycles until this one's starving. But we still have a few in here, so we can wrangle these. 
and they will help repopulate it pretty quickly. I have done that so many times. Come on, as soon as that water starts flowing, it's gonna fix that pretty quickly. Yep, look at this one's already starting to grow again. Now this one, yeah, it's so, so good. Some are not radiant. I thought we, they were still building them. Nope, apparently not. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. How many we have in here now? Uh, five. You are number six. Wrangle seven or six. Seven. Eight. Oh wait, I don't even have to do that one because this little this little fellow's coming. Oh, and look at the mealwood. It's already good. Already. That was close though. I have definitely, definitely came back here after like 200 cycles and they're just no more Dreckos. Pump stopped. Why did the pump stop? Oh, yeah, because of the temperature. It only spits it out every once in a while. It'll start spitting it out again. Now I want to look. Make sure everything's going all right. Oh, some of these dupes are eating berry sludge. Because we have no mixed berry pie. Which takes sleet wheat, which we have 722. We're missing the grub fruit. Body temperature issues here. It's too cold. Because of these. Haven't we finished research? Yes. So how are these... Oh, because we were letting people in. They weren't supposed to be able to get in here, so the, the only way they would get refilled is if we needed... Um, the only way they get refilled is by the auto sweeper, because they're connected to the automation on the material study terminal. So what I can do is this. And I guess I failed to uh, reset the... We must have been doing some work in there. And I completely forgot to get in there. See, I did not hear that yay. Why am I not hearing the yays? The Major Stiffian would have follow. Psy Melotus. Meliotus? In with the follow as well. Oh, I'm getting all confused. PVG Pelvis in with the prime. Eight months for Pelvis. Thank you, Pelvis. Welcome. All right, so this is going to say Phosphorite. Ooh, where's it going to get Phosphorite? Oh, they're just going to pick it up from here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we're not going to let anybody in there. And now when they run out of fuel, they will turn off, which will warm this place back up. But we should still be getting more from here. What if we made this a farm station as well? Because this is not a room. Is this on? Yes. So we do not need three of them. 
Fabrizo79 says, hello, will you take the volcano and make energy? Also, first time chatter asking about the volcano that is surrounded under the shine bugs. Let me take a look at it. Thank you for the forward, Dave. I'm going to go like this and then with two there. Hey, Echo, do you still have Peggy's? I believe they can go through locked doors. Oh, I think you're right. I can also help this by turning these to priority one. Come on, computer. You've got it. Now I can get more of the grub fruit plants by putting in the old wonderful farm station. Can't you just build a solid wall where you took the wall out? Oh. Yeah. I mean, that. Yes. You definitely can. Because if we ever do... Uh-oh. No! Oh, no. Yep, we're stuck. Oh, Conus. Go out, Conus! Quickly. See how slow the dupes are starting to get between tasks. First time chatter, Echo, do you still have Oh yep. Yeah. Already said the Peggies. Thank you. Good tip. Um, alright, that's blocked off now. That should be good. Now the volcano yes. We will eventually tame this thing. Um, we've also already tamed two of them in here. Oh, speaking of which, chat, we're down to 250 kilos worth of steam pressure, which means we are eating it, but maybe too much. So we might reduce that down to like 1.5. Do you still need it with research done? Can you just remove it? We could really just remove it, but Clay has a habit of making updates and adding little researches. And if we're playing this colony then, I just want to be able to go click and it all just gets done instead of us having to rebuild things. These will turn off, and this whole place will just be dead. Eight kilos. Yeah, they filled them quick. It'll get there. Because remember, this auto sweeper is disabled, too. I think we eventually need to gonna get, have to get through all this. We have a lot of digging. I want to do some geothermal power. We have more mountain things we want to do. Oh my goodness. We have the Great Wall. How much fertilizer are we making? Plenty. What is supposed to be in this receptacle? Oh, dirt. Uh, uh, we are getting dirt. We're just only getting it when the grub grubs make mud. I need to move a bunch of dirt down here. Where's that dirt going from down here? Dirt right here. So what I can do, look at all this oxalite. Dirt. That's only 677 kilos. Is that really all we have right now? I'm just going to move this whole stack to right here. We're missing rails. This was an old, this is an old system that we're not using. Is there a way to turn auto rate turning mud into anything? I don't feel like condemning a dude to a lifetime on salad spinning. Um, well, we did kind of. Right here, we're turning polluted water into dirt. For some reason, it's holding up. Uh, 
Oh, because there's 44 grams of dirt there. So it's not reading the temps. Uh, let's make this once every 30 seconds. So no matter what, it's going to be cool by the time it gets there anyways. Maybe adding super cool into the bottom chill, yeah. I think that's definitely going to be on the to-do list. They don't have any way to reach that dirt? Oh, yeah, because we bulldozed all this. I guess we don't need this anymore here, do we? Quick question, where do you get lumber? From um, arbor trees. From arbor trees. I don't think I have any arbor trees on this planetoid. Yep, right here. All these branches, when you harvest them, they give you lumber. Here it comes. Bump, lumber. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Entombed on the main planetoid. I see no entombed. I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's get all this yuck picked up, shall we? Four. That'll work. Yep. Low priority sweeps are my jam. I'll take a long walk on the beach and some low priority sweeps. Thank you, Colonel Sanders. You are being refunded. Is something damaged in the lower sauna? Yes. This gas pump took a little bit of damage because of some overheating caused from this animal. But this is all hydrogen gas and I don't feel like dealing with that. It's it's still working, it's just got a little bit of eh. Just like a lot of the aqua tuners around here. I keep getting this one, which I think it's a bug, but I don't know because we've gone patches where it just doesn't happen and then it'll come back for a patch or two. So I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. Kappa Sensei says it is a bug, happened to me. Yeah. Look at the pristine fossils. We have a bunch. Yeah, let's do that. We got the robot there. Grub Grub statue. Robot arm. I'm never going to be able to select this pedestal. <laughs> pristine fossil. Office mug. Small obelisk. Sandstone. Wristwatch. I didn't realize we'd gotten so many. Oh, no, 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 no. This cannot be the pristine fossil. It has to be... It has to be the critter collar. Because of all the puppies. Maybe the 10x speed. That's the that's the going theory, Luminate. Guy says, time to drive back to the yard now. Thanks for the entertainment on a relatively calm ship. We'll have to catch you in Bondland from now on. Thank you guys so much for coming by. And then we'll take uh, the pristine thing and put it over here. Boom. Very nice. So we have something to chat about, chat. We have something to chit-chat about because I need ideas on what you'd like to see. Slipseat, I appreciate the follow. Welcome to the chaos. Um, on what else we can spend channel redemption points on. I'll bet that Volrum smells great. Like lilacs. 
Oh my goodness. 2,306 rads per cycle times two. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's so glorious. The only thing I don't like about it is this jank here. It looked so clean otherwise. Lokar says, can I have the Grub Grub statue? We already gave it away. I can't take it away from somebody else. This is B-Dub's uh, Grub Grub statue. Where are you, Lokar? What did you get? Oh, Lokar is way over there. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I think Lokar's over here, aren't they? Yes, they are. Grub Grub statue for Lokar. What's insanity lethal rads for dupes? This. <laughs> Ooh, significant hazard. <laughs> oh, man. So good. So good. Yeah, I need some ideas on what we're going to be spending um, dupe points on or echoes on. I have a drink in pendiculate here. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Luminates is independent small planetoid for echoes, or is that excessive? Bit it's probably a little excessive. Um. I'd like something that's neutral across all games. Something that doesn't matter what I'm playing. Star jumps. Side straddle, side straddle hops. It'd be awkward if I'm sitting here doing jumping jacks, though, wouldn't it? A freestyle breakdance. <laughs> Nick, do you use uh, do you use channel points in your channel to any great effect, or is it just kind of like the same sort of stuff, like drink and that sort of thing? By the way, can we get a shout out to Live Action Pixel? Nick plays a bunch of different games. They have a beautiful accent because they speak the King's English. Yeah, but to play media clips of like high and stuff, nothing original. I've been liking the new, like the fishing game, but I'm not 100% convinced that it, I don't know if it detract, detracts from the, the stream itself. Wrong but useful. In with the prime. Thank you very much, wrong but useful. Stains, 88. I appreciate the follow. Beep, 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 beep. Let's check it out again one, one more time. I know you can't see it. I'll just tell you. 2,544 rads per cycle. And... I just... In this screen right now, it's 24 frames per second. Not bad. Not bad. I can do 24. Wax strips. I, I try to read it, Rusty. Don't get sensitive on me. That's good stuff. Good stuff. We'll think about it as a community. A fact about a state in the U.S.? That's not bad. Everybody's saying 24 frames per second is cinematic. This is crazy, isn't it? If I ever do something like wax strips, I'll do it for the uh, for the kids like Taco does. I would do it for the kids. Trivia? Like what kind of trivia? Trivia about me? Or just random trivia? But where would I get it from? I need the integration. You know, I can't just... Oh, like maybe I grab a book. Something like that. I don't like too much. You'll notice I don't have a lot of, um, like, uh, like how Nick says they have movie clips. I don't use a lot of movie clips and that sort of thing. Ooh, Just like with uh, like Taco that. has a lot of clips. 
for me personally, it doesn't fit my style. I like a nice clean style. So that's the reason why I'd love to see something more, you know, natural or organic to use with it. Hi, biddies. Hope your Easter is going well, Pumpkin. I appreciate you stopping back in. Wrong but useful. First time chatter says, hey, Echo. I've been watching VODs on YouTube, but happy to join you in live. We're happy you're here. Thank you very much. Pixel says tacos full blown embrace the chaos of cliffs. Yeah, it kills me because there's times when I'm watching and I'm like, this is too much. It's too much. That's how they do it. Kevin just dropped some knowledge. 24 frames per second is the industry standard for filming. Filmed with a shutter of 1 50th, it gives a natural motion blur. It's beautiful. That's pretty cool. I'm looking for ways to spend points. Spending the points, I think, is the problem because some people just have a ludicrous amount of points nowadays. Um, we've we've managed to fend off the economy by using the raffles for dupes to get in there. But some people, once they get their their dupe in there, they're like, okay, and then they just collect thousands upon thousands of echoes. VIP for a month. I don't know because. Like I give out VIP to, um, you know, I give it out selectively. Speaking of which, let's go. Let me butcher this command real quick. VIP, no, that's not the way. VIP. There's one. VIP uh, in most streams, I don't, I can't speak to all of them. Allow the person to post like links. They are, you are able to set it as a criteria to make sure that um, like people can do or not do th different things. Sorio Blackfeather says, "Hey, I'm saving for a luxury dupe package. That's hoarding with a purpose." That's good stuff. Are any of our friends on today? What's uh, what's chat in the mood to watch? What kind of games do you want to watch? Oh, I know where we're going. I have not been able to raid them yet. I appreciate everybody coming out today. Stick around, please, for the raid. You also get to see some amazing credits. We're gonna go watch some Satisfactory. Because I think that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody has an amazing, an amazing rest of their Sunday. If you're celebrating the, the Easter things or not, I hope you have a great, great beginning of your week. I'll be working on some videos tomorrow. Uh, the Chaos Crew video normally takes a little bit longer. So I'm hoping to get two videos out this week, but there's no promises there on the YouTubes. Again, make sure you go check out Live Action Pixel. Who knows, yo? Pumpkin Pie. Great streamers. Many entertainments. That sort of thing. All right. I'm going to run these credits. So until next time, much love, happy gaming, I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.